Tomorrow on the race tomorrow on the Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield Razorback Report. For dental and vision plans, visit ArkansasBlueCross.com or stop by at Arkansas Blue Welcome Center. Pay attention. This happens fast. You're on the forklift in your warehouse when it breaks down. You call Medley Equipment Company. Talk to Debbie. Hello. Debbie tells you they'll get you moving again. Debbie talks to a service tech. Yep, I can do it. Tech says when they can be there. That nice Debbie lady calls you back. Hello. Saying your forklift will be fixed in a few hours. <sighs> Nice. Pretty fast, right? We're just trying to keep up because Medley keeps you moving. I'm branch manager Jeff Hess. Visit MedleyCompany.com or come see us at 121 House Court, North Little Rock, Arkansas. What happens to your money when you die? Will your family be protected? Join Genwell Financial Advisors for a free workshop on April 23rd with attorney Chris Rippey. You'll learn why having a will isn't enough to protect your assets, five modern-day grave robbers that could hurt your family, and how estate planning is only one component of financial independence. CD is limited. Call 866-653-PLAN to reserve your spot. Securities offered through LPL Financial Member FINRA, SIPC. Investment advice offered through Independent Advisor Alliance. Independent Advisor Alliance and General Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with KARK's Pat Walker. It's going to be clouding up this afternoon, and it will still be a warm day. Little Rock should top out around 80 degrees. Tonight, cloudy with some scattered light rain showers. It's a 30% chance of rain, then rain and thunderstorms, and a chance that severe weather becomes more likely tomorrow. For the Buzz Radio Network, I'm Arkansas Storm Team Meteorologist. Buy one, get one free at the Riverfront Steakhouse. This Thursday night, we're going to have prime rib, 12 ounces of prime rib, served with all the mashed potatoes you can eat. Buy one, get one free. Hello, Buzz listeners. It's Chris Zender, and I've got some big news. Fletcher Dodge has big discounts on all new Rams, up to $11,000 off new Ram 2500s and up to $10,000 off new half-ton Rams. But that's not all. We got 0% financing on new Ram Bighorns for 72 months. Yes. I said 0% for 72 months. Or how about $10,000 off new Jeep Gladiators? And we have the new 2024 Jeep Compass four-wheel drives for only $424 a month with zero down and no gimmicks. We're getting new inventory every week, so come in and let us know what you're looking for. We're ready to make a deal. We have pre-owned vehicles starting as low as $199 a month at zero down. Don't worry about your credit. If other dealers have told you no, come see us or apply from anywhere at FletcherCredit.com. Fast, easy, and simple approval process. And let us help you get into a new or pre-owned vehicle. Shop Fletcher Dodge and Sherwood before you buy anywhere else. Come see us in person at Fletcher Dodge on Warden Road in Sherwood or shop online at FletcherDeals.com. Hi, I'm Rick Pennington of Lions Drug. We have great news. Generic Cialis is now available at a huge savings. We have Tadalafil, the FDA approved generic of Cialis in a 20 milligram tablet at a savings of up to 80%. We have the 5 milligram daily tablets for less than $3 a pill. Lions Drug can Continues to be your go-to pharmacy for men's health. What are you waiting for? Call us today at 844-676-2247 or go to our website at lionsdrug.com. Tickets are on sale now for the 20th annual Double B's Buzz BQ, May 11th at the Downtown Riverside RV Park in North Little Rock. Go to buzzbq.com to get yours. Sample lots of great barbecue and visit with your favorite buzz personalities. It's the 20th annual Double B's Buzz BQ, sponsored by Michelob Ultra, Gravely Mowers, Oaklawn Hot Springs, Tito's Hand made vodka, Lion Legal, Jez Camper Rental, and LRS, benefiting Ronald McDonald House Charities of Arkansas and North Louisiana. Live from the Signal Media Studios, this is Out of Bounds with Wes Moore and Joe Franklin on 103.7 The Buzz.
Yeah, and it, it would take something remarkable for him to be able to put four rounds together at Augusta. The demands of that course, that, that so hilly. You, you saw, I saw him Saturday. I mean, and this was after like the tenth hole. He looked like an old man. He looked older than me out there, trying to pick the ball up out of the hole, walking around. I'm just like, God, he looks like he's in so much pain right now. How how can you even play golf at a competitive level? What he's trying to put his body through right now, and I hate it because you know I'm always we'll always remember the Tiger of the early 2000s that was just so dominant, and he's nothing like that now. His body won't let, allow him to do it. No, I root for the guy, but I, I just I don't see how he can no, play many more competitive years. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, to you know, I think to him to make the cut and break that you know consecutive cut streak was was a, a major accomplishment. But no, you're right. I mean, just to watch him kind of. Shooting at 82, was that what he yeah. shot on Saturday? Golly, yeah, that was tough to watch. But uh, I what did he come back with yesterday? Like 77. 70, 77, yeah. I was yeah. thinking 78. Yeah, it was yeah. not Tiger Prime, and that's it's hard to, to, to sit back and watch. Now, some of the bigger names that were attached to this tournament going in, Brooks Kepka, uh, John Rahm, these are two guys that finished mm-hmm. at plus nine, at nine over. So, you know, it, it, sometimes you're going to have those days but Tiger is having many more of those days just because of the effect that his body is having on him. And then it's funny looking at Danny Willett also. He finished at nine over when he was close to the top of the leaderboard um, just Thursday and Friday. Uh, Danny Willett on Friday, right before the cut, he was still up there around four uh, under par. And I think he triple bogeyed 18. And he went from four to one, and then it just went down. The bottom there, dropped out. 75, 76, 78. And that was more the Danny Willett we were expecting when somebody drew Danny Willett's name and Trey Schapp was with us. And I was like, what do you think about Danny Willett? He's like, he's, he's not, not winning. winning the <laughs> <laughs> and then you look up, and he was on the uh, leaderboard the first day, and we were giving him a hard time. But uh, we, we didn't even think that he was going to, to win the Masters. Even Tony Finau finishing at 13 over. And it was diff- it was so difficult on uh, Thursday and Friday the numbers that they put up, and then Saturday it was a little bit more gettable, but not much. Yesterday was the best day, but then by then it got baked out, and you see balls hitting the green and just rolling and rolling and rolling. So it was I mean when the winning score is 11 and he won by four shots, I mean it just showed you how incredible he played. But everybody else is just right around seven is. Uh, yeah, that that uh, I had never even heard of Aberg before. Before this weekend, I didn't even know who he was. Ludwig. Ludwig, and that dude can play. He uh, he had a bad break on the uh, 10th or 11th where he hit it in the water. Yes. He just kind of overcooked it and had a little too much draw and went in the water and made a bogey there. But he bounced back and had some birdies and finished his second place. And, you know, he's sitting there thinking, if it's not for this guy, Scotty Scheffler, yep. in a remarkable weekend, I just won my first yep. Masters. Yep. But that's how, how a lot of people felt when they were playing against Tiger Woods. They're like, if it's not for that Tiger guy, I would have had a couple of majors. Right. How many, how, how many would Phil have if it not been for Tiger? No <laughs> doubt. No. And Phil, I mean, he made the cut again yeah. as a 53-year-old yeah. and was, you know, right around, what, five over four? What did he finish up? Eight, eight over. Oh, eight. He shot 74-74 over the weekend, so a couple two-over rounds. Um, but, yeah, even lefty, the course knowledge, those guys know exactly where to miss it, what to do, how every putt's going to go, and still shooting. That, that shows you how difficult it was. How many guys were under par for the weekend? Not many. There was only, let's see. Even par was tied for ninth, so eight guys under par. That's incredible. Yeah. At the and that's not one of the hardest uh, courses out there. Um, and it, it just showed you the wind that was in play on Thursday and Friday. And then overall, let's see, you're looking at uh, 11 guys, 11 guys that were even Even or, or better. better, yeah. <laughs> they had it tricked up. It, it was playing difficult. Also this weekend, Saturday was the spring game. I, got, I didn't watch it live, uh, but I went back and watched some of it last night, and I, I was impressed. First of all, Taylor Green is fast. I didn't realize, you know, you kept, we kept hearing how fast he was. And you see him in person. He has a, a different gear, and he just takes off, and bam, he, he's gone. Twice they called him dead, you know, down. Mm-hmm. And it was a, a DB coming in, reaching for him to touch him. And I'm like, he in a game, that's not happening. You weren't going to tackle him. Yeah. There was no way you were going to bring him to the ground by reaching out and getting a hand on him. He would have gone to the house twice. 
And, and one time it would have been like midfield, 50 yards. The other time probably around 40 yards. I was very impressed with his speed. Uh, accuracy, couldn't tell a lot. I mean, he, had, he put up good numbers. What was he, like 17 of 20, 16 of 20? So it was a good percentage. Uh, but it was a, a lot of, you know, Bobby Petrino, some of his offense, those quick throws. I still want to see, you know, when it's third and eight, third and ten, everybody knows you're going to pass it. Is he going to be able to del- deliver that accurate throw? Uh, but I like the running game, and I like the offensive line. They were opening up some nice holes. Uh, Carmona at left tackle I thought was really good, and Bla- Bla- Blackstock at right tackle played well. And even on the telecast, they were talking about the new center that transferred in. They felt very comfortable with him. So, Offensive line, no doubt, with zero doubt in my mind, is better than, than it was last year. And it has to be, you know. But you could tell that those transfers that came in, they're starting right now, they have added a lot to the team. I was just talking to DJ. The biggest concern now is second team. You know, what happens if, you know, there's some injuries on that offensive line? Who steps in? Or even on the defensive line? Where's the depth going to come from? And I expect them to hit the portal and add some players on that offensive line, defensive line, linebacker, some key positions. And I would still like one of those game-breaking wide receivers. I don't know where you're going to find one of those right now, uh, but maybe Satania can, you know, develop into that. Armstrong looked good. Broden looked good. You know, we saw a couple of plays out of him last year, but Broden and his size, I think they're going to utilize that, and Petrino will know how to use that. Um, didn't see a whole lot out of the tight ends in this game. At least when I was watching, I haven't watched the whole thing. Uh, but the the first team, man, I was impressed. I, 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 my expectations weren't that high. Uh, but after watching it, I was like, okay, they're better than I thought they were going to be. So not, that's a good thing. Not sure they're, they're still going to be any higher just because of that depth perspective. But the one thing about Taylor Green, he loves that back line of the end zone. Mm-hmm. He, he throws the ball to the back of the end zone. He likes hitting those receivers run across that back line, and he's able to deliver that deep ball that's going to the pylon at the back of the end zone. So that was a good throw, a couple of good throws there. Well, it's hard to get that ball intercepted. That's a pretty smart throw. It, it takes a, a special DB to go to that back line, go up and get it. Uh, it's most of the time that's your guy and only your guy is going to catch that ball. But also, you have to get the right trajectory on the ball because you have to get it up, over, and down to get to the back of the end zone like that. All right, we're going to take our first break. When we come back, Kendall Diggs will join us. Thanks to Stephen L. Moore Shelter Insurance. We'll get him on here to talk about the past weekend. Big weekend coming up, or big week coming up. you got Texas Tech Tuesday and Wednesday, and then back on the road to play South Carolina. So five tough games for the Razorbacks this week. Maybe it's a bounce-back week. We'll get Kendall Diggs next. Stick around. It's out of bounds. For interior, exterior, commercial, and residential painting, hire the pros at Serta Pro Painters. Get your free estimate at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. This is Sports Center. It was a second green jacket for the world's number one as Scotty Scheffler won his second Masters in three years yesterday. He shot an 11 under for the weekend. He closed out the tournament with a four under 68. That put him four shots ahead of Sweden's Ludwig Albert. He also topped Max Homa, Colin Morikawa, and Tommy Fleetwood, who closed out the top five. This is Scheffler's ninth professional win in the last 26 months. He's won the Arnold. Palmer twice, the Players' Championship twice, and now he's won at Augusta twice. And in NASCAR, Chase Elliott found his way to victory lane yesterday at the Auto Trader Echo Park Automated 400 at Texas Motor Speedway. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Hi, I'm Trey Reed from the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, inviting you to join me every Wednesday morning for the latest news from the great outdoors. It's brought to you by Arts Marine in North Little Rock, now under new ownership, but with the same familiar faces and incredible service you've known for years, plus the area's best selection of boating parts and supplies. It's Pat Bradley for Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union, where their customers are always number one. Speaking about numbers, 6% APY is still available at Alcoa. Earn up to 6% interest on your checking account balances for doing the things you already do, like using your debit card and direct deposit. You can also get your ATM fees waived. Apply today for your free Casasa checking account and earn up to 6% APY at alcoacommunityfcu.org. 
Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union, serving Celine, Grant, Garland, Hot Spring, and Perry Counties. We love our backyard. This year, we added an all-brick outdoor kitchen. We couldn't wait to show it off. But what happened? Mosquitoes. Basically, we did all this work for them. Instead of entertaining and providing food for our guests, we became the food. We wasted all that time and money on a yard we couldn't even enjoy. Then we called Mosquito Joe. After just the first treatment, Mosquito Joe gave us our yard back. Now, we're the favorite neighborhood hangout. Visit arkansas.mosquitojoe.com. With Mosquito Joe, outside is fun again. Fun Monday edition of Morning Mayhem is in the books. I want to thank the folks out of Burns Park for hosting. Also, I want to thank Chris Kane, Pat Bradley, and Bill Vickery for coming on the show. The guys are back in studio for the only time this week on Tuesday. Talk all things Razorbacks, football, basketball, and softball. It's all coming up Tuesday's show right here on Morning Mayhem. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hey, everybody, it's RJ Hawk. You know I've been talking about this for a long time, and I say the future's here. You just haven't tried it yet. If you've got achy joints that have been nagging you for a long time, don't go to a doctor and have them recommend surgery or drugs. Go by and give QC Kinetics a try today for a free consultation. They are the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. It's called regenerative medicine. If your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love you need to call qc kinetics now we're talking natural biologics using your own body's power to repair and restore your damaged tissue qc kinetics is under the leadership of national medical director dr mitchell shine cup he is a pioneer in the field with 20 years of clinical work tons of research teaching and publishing call qc kinetics now to learn about these exciting options it's a free consultation 501-222-8440 501-222-8440 that's 501-222 There are no ordinary days in Arkansas. Hike to inspiring summits, bike on world-class trails, or fish in sparkling waters. Or see some of the world's top art collections and explore historic sites dedicated to everything from civil rights to rock and roll. After that, eat some award-winning barbecue and sip a local craft beer. So go on, get out there, and explore what the natural state has to offer. Find out more at Arkansas.com. Dig swings and belts it high in the air to deep right field against the wind, and that ball's out of here. Kendall Diggs crushed that ball. Kendall Diggs is brought to you by Stephen Elmore with Shelter Insurance. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, see Shelter Agent Stephen Elmore or give him a call at 501-537-0959. Welcome back. It is Out of Bounds, and we do have Kendall Diggs with us. Going to talk a little Razorback baseball, and Kendall, glad you're with us. How are you doing? Good, man. How are you all doing? Oh, I'm all right, man. Got 18 holes of golf in already this morning, so I would say that's a uh, probably a better start to the day than you have. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That is that sounds very nice. Kendall, Kendall, you play any golf? I do, I do. Um, <clears throat> usually, uh, you know, not not as much as I you know hope to hope to play, but um, you know, in the off season, you know, if we got some free time, I know. Uh, a lot of those position guys do like to go out and uh, try to golf. I'll put it that way. But uh, as far as pitchers go, I know a lot of a lot of the pitchers really love really love golf, and they're pretty pretty good at it too. What's your handicap? Oh yeah, see, I couldn't even couldn't even tell you that. <laughs> I, whatever we play, we don't get to play that often, unfortunately. So uh, you know, usually we go out there, and I'm just trying to trying to not lose more than more than ten balls in a round. <laughs> So of those guys, the pitchers, who's the best golfer then? You said they're pretty good. Yeah, there's a handful of them this year. Um, shoot, let's see. I think Gage Wood's pretty good. Um, as far as last year, I know Hunter Holland was a very good golfer. Um, who else? Oh, Mason Molina. Mason Molina's a very, very good golfer. That didn't surprise me. He's out there in West Texas where you got to be able to hit that ball low and keep it down out of the wind. A wind cheater. Nice and straight, man. Yep, exactly. That's what they do. Yeah, I think I, I played with Hunter last year once. 
shoot. He shot somewhere in the low to mid 70s, and I'm pretty sure that's Mason's right in that same same category there. So, Kendall, because of uh, the baseball swing, does the golf does the club feel weird to you at times, or maybe when you first started playing, did it feel weird because you have that that baseball swing? Yes, yes, 100, percent especially right when I first started playing. But um, fortunately, I do have some buddies back home, some hometown friends that are pretty big into it. They kind of showed me the ropes a little bit, but uh, yeah, I know, I know the basics. But then now, you know, it's like a couple good, a couple good rubs, but uh, yeah, usually it's not not too too pretty for me out there. Do you have to fight the hook, a big draw, because <laughs> of that baseball swing? <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, flies, hooks, uh, all of the above. But uh, you know, I say I say driver is my best club. It's usually those, those long irons, long irons where where it gets me pretty bad. Well, this is the first time, I said this earlier, this is the first time that we've spoken with you following a, a road loss, a road series loss, or facing a little <laughs> adversity. So how do you think the team kind of responded? Uh, what was it like, the trip back uh, after losing the series at Alabama? Yeah. Um, you know, I think this is the most, the best, I'd say, like overall level-headed team I've been around as far as, you know, reacting to, you know, adversity or, uh, you know, negative outcomes. But, um, you know, obviously we were very disappointed, um, especially, you know, the offense just as a whole, how we, you know, produced all weekend. But, um, you know, I think as far as the whole group, we have our heads on straight. And, um, you know, now we're just really, you know, getting the bodies right. And we're, uh, you know, on to Texas Tech these next two midweeks. These are going to be huge games as well. They're a really good ball club. So uh, we move on to really tough league. You know, it's really hard to go down on the road anywhere and win two games. So, um, you know, we move on. Uh, we know what we need to work on and to improve on, but, um, you know, no reason to dwell on it. Kendall, you guys take one game at a time, and it's amazing how one game mm-hmm. can change the way that a series is viewed. And the yeah. second game, it goes to extra innings, and you guys lose by one run in the extra innings, a hard-fought game. So that's something that one game just changed the whole outlook of the series there, just how close it was. Yeah. Yeah, um, 100%. Uh, you know, the coaching staff, since I've been here, you know, we play a lot of non-conference games, pre, pre-conference pre play, and I always say, you know, it's a heavyweight battle every single conference game. You know, you're in it, it's a game of inches. And, um, you know, I think a lot of the guys that haven't played in the SEC this is their first year in it, are really seeing that it's that's pretty dang true. And uh, I think they're only going to you know, have their eyes open to that more as we, we go deeper into conference play into the postseason. But, um, yeah, it's just the way it goes, you know, it's back and forth, heavyweight battle. Um, obviously, it was a tough one to lose, long game, we went back and forth, but, uh, you know, it, it happens. It's baseball, you know what I mean? Um, and I love getting crazy to death. That's my guy. Uh, he's one of my roommates. And I, you know, I, I, I say I said this the other day. I take him ten out of ten times. Um, yeah, love that guy to death. You know, he he gave it everything he had. But it, I mean, he's executing pitches. Um, you know, I bet that one of the last things he was expecting there was a you know spinner dribbler right back at him, and uh, you know, good runner bobbled it. It happened. Um, you know, wash it. But uh, I think he's moved on. I think all of us moved on. We all got hit back. And he knows that too. So. Um, it's just, you know, I think I think that's another good thing we do as a team. You know, we're not bashing anyone, nothing like that. You know, it's, it wasn't one play that led us up to that, to that moment, if that makes sense. Um, we had plenty of opportunities to take the lead, run with it, and uh, capitalize on stuff that we've done as a team. So uh, it's just the way it goes. And we moved on to the next day, and it didn't go, didn't go our way either. So, uh, you know, we're just going to try to turn that, turn that around this week and then um, take that down to South Carolina this weekend. We're talking with Kendall Dix, thanks to Stephen Elmore, Shelter Insurance. And today we got Stephen Elmore with us, Kendall. We we got to play golf on the uh, same team this morning at the Buzz Golf Tournament this morning. And so I uh, wanted to uh, make sure that Stephen hung around a little bit and was here for the, your uh, segment today. He's always listening, uh, but today he's he's a part of the segment. Kendall, That's what's awesome, going on, man. man. How are you doing? I'm good, Kendall. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good deal. Hey, heck of a catch there in the uh, ninth inning. Uh, of hey, I two, appreciate that. By man. the way, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. So um, when um, you know 
it's easy for fans to, you know, and I'm one of them, but it's easy for fans to uh, say, man, you know, it's, this is a disappointing uh, loss. You go down here to Alabama mm-hmm. and you lose, you know, lose two out of three. How do, how do y'all as a team, you know, how, how do y'all keep from getting complacent? Uh, I know, I, I imagine Coach Van Horn is pretty good about keeping, you know, y'all focused, but uh, do you find yourself, mm-hmm. uh, you know, trying hard not to, okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're just rocking along here winning series after series. How do y'all stay focused? Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, we were talking about this the other day. I was talking with uh, Peyton Holt, and uh, we were doing media today, uh, after one of the games the other night. I think it was the second game. And um, I think for us, something we do is, you know, we're not – we go into every game with the same mindset. You know, it's not, oh, okay, we won 10 straight now, let's go win 11. Like, no, it's like – I feel like as a whole, we go into each game, it's like we're 0-0. You know what I mean? And it's like the same mindset every single game, and we got to go out there and earn it. I think that's why we've had so much success as far as just winning and how that's been going for us. But I also think um, that plays a part in, like, I don't even think we're even near reaching our potential, which is just an unbelievable thing with how, you know, successful we've been as a team this year. So but I think that's really the big key for us is we just go into every single game like we're on out and, uh, you know, not entitled to anything and don't take anything for granted. Stefan mentioned that great catch you had. I wanted an inventory, injury inventory off of that catch because you got up, your pants were all ripped. It looked like you were bleeding. You you were holding your wrist, then you were picking pebbles out of your skin on your hand. So what all did you hurt on that catch? Yeah, so that, the catch um, it was just my hand. Yes, yeah, my hand. I got a big old gash in it. Uh, just ripped, clean, ripped, ripped the skin clean off. So that's what... That's what all that blood was from. The rip in my pants was from uh, when I spilled second the inning before, I believe. Uh, just ripped straight clean through. That had some blood on it as well. And then um, my knee, too. My knee got ripped up pretty good on that one as well. So that's, those, those are the three spots. I got the knee, the hand, and then the upper thigh on the, on the right leg. <laughs> Kendall, the uh, Thursday through Saturday series has become the norm the way the schedule set it up, set up, but mm-hmm. usually it's uh, it's Friday through Sunday. So, what did it feel like to get back to a sense of normalcy that you're used to um, for the most part of the season, going Friday through Sunday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as far as you know, it felt like you said a little bit more normal. I feel like this year we had I don't know if it was more Thursday through Saturday, Saturday series, or they were just because they were consecutive. So that was a little different for me just being my third year here. But, um, yeah, it doesn't make a huge difference for us, but it does, you know, just feel more common, I'd say, more normal. You know, you're used to playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, usually Friday, Saturday, or both night games, if not sometimes Saturday one's afternoon and then the early one on Sunday. So, um, you know, it's kind of getting back to that normal schedule and uh, maybe give you, like, a little extra day um, to get the body right before that weekend series. How does that change for you uh, moving forward as far as from a personal standpoint and getting some of the workouts in and maybe some uh, practice and some work on the field? Yeah, I think it's really big for us, too, with the those Thursday through Saturday ones. It kind of messed with our, like, lifting schedule because um, we were really usually going Monday and Wednesday. But sometimes we were mixing in a midweek in there, and then it's like, hey, we got to turn around and play big you know sec series on this thursday so it's like all right we got to do this we got to switch the days but for me that's the most i think that's the best part um is just getting on like a true lifting schedule we have two days a week and i think we will stay on that you know monday wednesday but like even this week you know we have a double midweek so uh they're they're probably going to be fairly light i'm about to go down there i'm at the facility right now i'm probably gonna go hit a fairly light lift a lot of mobility and then um Wednesday's lift, I might just treat, do, do something before the game, like a primer lift, get my body just warmed up and ready to go for that game. So uh, but that's just kind of the way it goes. You know, once the season rolls around, you got to adapt with a lot of stuff. Just because, you know, at the end of the day, everything we do is to go out there and, you know, perform on the field and win. So, Kendall Diggs with us. Thanks to Stephen Elmore, Shelter Insurance. Uh, Kendall, I think, and I don't have the uh, stats in front of me, but I think you got your first day off of the season last Tuesday. How did that feel for you? What was that like? Yeah, yeah, I did. That's right. Uh, yeah, the first game against San Jose. Um, it was good, man. You know, there's nothing. I, I mean, shoot, can't complain either way, whether I'm out there or I'm 
you know, front row right there watching my guys, much much my guys fall out. But yeah, it's good to see. Uh, uh, I, yeah, Holt was out there in that clip too, so that was really cool to see him get out there and uh, do his thing. But um, yeah, the guys played great. Um, you know, somewhere relaxing. You know, you didn't kind of sit back and watch everyone do their thing. Uh, it was a good day of baseball, so it was good. So, what do you know about Texas Tech coming into the the series starting tomorrow? Yeah, really good club um, historically and this year um, can really swing it. Uh, that's all I've you know really heard. Obviously, I've talked with Molina and Huddy White a little bit about it as well. They're pumped up. They're excited to play their guys. But um, as far as uh, pitching staff goes, we haven't went over anything yet. I assume later tonight we'll get some video and scouting on it, and then uh, you know we'll have our meetings tomorrow and just be ready to go. But definitely not taking it lightly at all. You know they're very talented, talented team. Big 12 is a great conference, and you know they're not coming here just for the experience. You know they're coming here to win. So we gotta be ready to go. You know, you mentioned Peyton Holt a couple of minutes ago. I've always been a big Peyton Holt fan. Uh, the way he stepped in last year for Stovall, and uh, this year when he, he gets an opportunity to play, he usually produces. And so it was pretty cool to see him out there in left field uh, this weekend. How, give me your thoughts on Peyton Holt, the left fielder. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's my guy. So, yeah, uh, I've mentioned uh, Holt and Faraday in this, in this conversation. Those are my two roommates, so those are for the uh, – oh for the past few years so uh yeah those are those are my i'm really close with both of them so i'm fired up to say you know he's he just does an amazing job you know like i mean shoot he was in 330 and he was you know wasn't getting out there which is just it sucks it's the way it goes at times but never complained never way to know um you know this opportunity and take advantage of it so it's really cool to see that well he continued to hit the ball and that home run in the ninth inning was about as clutch as you could get down a run two outs ninth inning down to your last out and you get a home run to give you guys some life and uh, unfortunately yep. you, you guys weren't able to pull it out but gosh that had to be a huge morale booster for the for the team talk about a roller coaster oh. though to go from last out tying it up and then to lose it the way y'all did that had to be a, a very draining game yeah 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 well very very up and down but uh you know that's the one thing though with baseball as well we always talk about uh trying to keep a level head even in moments like that it's like uh, you know, it can change very, very fast. So, uh, you know, something a lot of people say is don't let your highs be too high, don't let your lows be too low. And I think that's huge in baseball. And I think a lot of us do get that. Obviously, we're going to get super pumped up, but we know we got to get out there uh, after that and, uh, you know, go execute on defense on the mound and then come back and do the same thing. So, uh, yeah, no, that was unbelievable. I mean, I was on deck and you hit that. And shoot, I, like, blacked out in excitement. I was going up there. I was like, oh, my God. But, uh, no, that was, that was awesome to see, especially right there uh, for my guys, bring out Peyton. And, uh, but it doesn't surprise me, you know, that he, he's just a gamer. You put him in there, no matter who's on that mound, <clears throat> where, where he's at, he's going to compete. That's the way he's always been. So that was really awesome to see. Hey, take me through that. After he hits the home run, then you have to go to the, to the plate. And the natural thing, yeah. as a fan, I'm thinking, this guy wants to jack it too, back to back and take the to lead. How do you calm – what do you do? What did you do to try to calm yourself down, refocus for a very important at-bat? Yeah. Yeah, that's actually it's a, it's a very good point. You know, I feel like that happens quite a bit. You go up there, you know, you're all jacked up for it too. But, yeah, you know, it's just taking a deep breath, stepping out. Just, you know, another AB, uh, you know, home runs don't come when you're trying to hit a home run. Uh, I realized that <laughs> this year a couple of times and in the past. But, uh, yeah, it's taking a deep breath, taking the year approach, and um, good things will happen that way, not not trying to go up there and do the same thing you just saw. So. You did that earlier this year, didn't you? You were part of the back-to-back-to-back. There were three straight home runs. You were I one was, of those guys. With, uh, with Stovall and uh, Vahiva, yes, sir. Yep, I was. I just thought about that. That there were three yep. straight in a row, and you were one of them. Hey, man, uh, go hit, go hit the weights. Uh, we've we've taken enough of your time already. We appreciate you as always. Uh, best of luck this week with the five games, and uh, uh, I guess we're back on schedule. We'll talk to you next Monday. Sounds awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. That's Kendall Dix. Thanks to our guy right here, Stephen Elmore, Shelter Insurance. Stephen, oh, my bad. Hold on. Thank you. Sorry about that. How how has this been for you? I mean, is it it's been a, is, I I. I 
kind of talked Stefan into this, and I was like, hey, man, you know, this is available. You can do it. You can do this. Come on, step up to the plate, get it done. Has it been worth it, in your opinion? Very positive experience, absolutely. Uh, probably more so than any, you know, advertising I've done. So, uh, awesome. Uh, definitely. Yeah, That's been, great to hear. Great. been absolutely great. You know, I, uh, I want to get Carmona for the fall. This dude is a character. I've interviewed him before. He's one of the better interviews I've ever done. Really? Uh, just a great character. I mean, he is funny. Uh, just loves to cut up on the radio, but he, you know he, he talk, He's kind of like Kendall. I mean, he, he gives you good information, but he's going to have fun too. And I've already told Acre that's that's who I want in the fall. That's Carmona. So, so Stephanie, he's talking you <laughs> yeah. in that one already. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got a contract right over there. You want to kind of pull it out? You want to go ahead and sign now? Uh, hey, you, you, you were good with Kendall. I, why, why, uh, I don't need to bet against you. Yeah, that, that would turned out to be – I had to thank Bubba Carpenter for that too. Bubba had a little insight and said, man, Kendall Diggs is really good. You need to try to get him on. I was like, well, I think he's going to have a big year, so – this is a, a no-brainer. Perfect. Let's get, let's get Kendall on here. Yeah, well, hand, goes hand in hand. We appreciate you, Stefan, and uh, well, it wouldn't be happening with, without you. So we, we really do appreciate you and the insurance and shelter stepping up and doing this for us. Absolutely. we got to take a break. Uh, when we come back, we'll wrap up the first hour. We can take some phone calls. We haven't done that yet today, 661-1037. If you want to jump in here, talk about your weekend, a lot of things to hit on with the Diamond Hogs, the Masters, the spring game. 661-1037. It's out of bounds. When you get on a bike, you got to watch out for gravel, potholes, and knucklehead drivers. But after a crash, here's what you got to watch out for. Insurance adjusters. They can be tough on injured bikers. They might try to pin the blame on you or pay you less than you deserve. So if you've been injured, here's what you should do. Call the lawyers who look out for bikers. That's Rainwater, Holt, and Sexton. Motorcycle crash? Call Rainwater, Holt, and Sexton. Anywhere in the state, dial 8. 888-8888. Non-lawyer spokesperson. Sponsor for terms like a Rainwater and Bob Sexton. Got a wedding in your future? Say yes to the Arkansas Democrat Gazette wedding show Sunday, April 21st at the Stables at Cherokee Creek in Conway. Tickets are now available. With more than 30 exhibitors, fashion, and giveaways, the Conway wedding show is not to be missed. Sponsored in part by Dillard's and Central Arkansas Entertainment, tickets are $10 in advance to the April 21st Conway wedding show. Visit ArkansasBridalCommunity.com for more info or call 501-378-3807. This is the Pigskin Preacher bringing you the word. The legendary black evangelist Marshall Keeble said, When a man is ready to obey the gospel, all the devils in hell can't hold him back. I thought of this when I recently had the privilege of baptizing my friend Everett, who has a tracheostomy, meaning that he breathes through a tube into his windpipe. Did I mention that he was baptized by immersion? Watching his determination that day was truly inspiring. Everett's example reminds us that life is fleeting and that we need to do good while we have the opportunity. Double B's ask you for the opportunity to earn your trust by providing friendly, fast, competent service for your busy life. Come by and stock up on the things that you need. Double B's. It's where you gas it, grab it, and go. That's Double B's. RJ Hawk here with Chris Roberts from Southern Bank. And Chris, you know, we've talked so much about that hometown feel and what it's like at Southern Bank. But if you're a commercial investor, they need to come talk to you. We're involved with a lot of customers that have projects across the United States. Those projects can be some of the biggest projects you'd see in your communities. So really, there's no project that's too large for us to look at. If somebody's interested in learning more about what Southern Bank can do for their commercial investments, how do they get in touch with you? You just pick up the phone and call me at 501-424-0900. Just love to talk to you about your project, see what you've got going on, and see how we can be a help to you. And you talk about being a help. You really invest into your commercial investors by helping them through the process, looking at things to look out for along the way. I like to think we can throw things off of each other, listen to different viewpoints, and come to the best decision. If you want to learn more, go online, bankwithsouthern.com, or call Chris, 424-0900, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Pay attention. Attention. This happens fast. You need money. You get a job. Turns out that job doesn't pay near enough for the nonsense it puts you through every day. Uh-huh. 
You want to move fast, but the clock moves slow. You're smart, though. You know machines. You want to work at a place as fast as you. You call Medley Equipment Company. They need a technician, and they'll teach you everything you need to know to be the best. With pay raises all along. Because Medley keeps you moving. I'm Branch Manager Jeff Tess. Visit MedleyCompany.com or come see us at 121 House Court, North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tickets are on sale now for the 20th annual Double B's Buzzbecue, May 11th at the Downtown Riverside RV Park. Sample great barbecue from incredible cooks from all over Arkansas. And while you're there, be sure to stop by the Buzzaritaville Pavilion for a cold drink and some great live music from Bree Ogden and Bad Habits Jack Bennett. Brought to you by Chris Crane Hyundai and MSA Customs. It's the 20th annual Double B's Buzzbecue, May 11th. Go to buzzbecue.com for tickets. Welcome back. It is Out of Bounds. West Moore, Joe Franklin, today live at Burns Park in North Little Rock for the Buzz Golf Tournament. First wave of golfers done. Had a 52 win this morning's flight, Stefan. Uh, yeah, that's what I said, too. So what did you guys shoot in comparison? 68, 69? Uh, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it wasn't a 52. So 52 hey. won at second place? Yeah. Was 60. Oh, they won wow. by eight shots. They, they pulled a Scotty Scheffler on us. Yeah, he did. Ran away with it. You, right. you guys had fun, though. That's all. Oh, no, we had, a blast. we had a blast. And we had yeah. zero expectations zero. of winning this thing. We didn't have a stacked team. We we had a team of four buddies out there having a good time. And we did. We had a good time. Well, when Wes, our A player, he hadn't played. I didn't find out until he pulled up this morning. <laughs> I hadn't swung a club since September. Okay. <laughs> this is going to go well. I will say, I hadn't swung a club since September. I was going to get here early and go to the range and warm up. Nah, of course, that didn't work out. No, Never does. Straight to the number two tee, right down the middle. Hit my second shot on the green. Third shot, hit a good uh, drive. Uh, yep. Hit a good. Uh, I was on the green on three, the yep. par three. Yep. yep. And, and then it kind of went downhill. So it started like, well, huh? I was like, where has this been? You know, but you, you forget all your bad habits. And you and all that I was trying to think, hit the ball. Yeah. Just don't hit, you know, don't top it. Don't, you know, just hit the ball. Make good contact. Yep. And sure enough, just kept it so, easy swing and just piped it. That's the game of golf. We'd make it too hard. Let's go to Jay. Jay joins us now on Out of Bounds. Jay, welcome to the show. All right, Jay hung up. Or I uh, hung up on him. 661-1037. Six six one one zero three seven, Arkansas. Uh, just saw on some portal news. I didn't realize this, but Adu, uh, Kevin McPherson was tweeting that out from Tennessee, has uh, I guess hit the portal and he's looking at Arkansas as one of his select schools. I will take Adu right now. I that's a big guy. That was a big guy. At Tennessee started, uh, played. I'd say about half the game. Dude, dude can play. I mean, I, that was one of the things Arkansas was missing last year was a big guy. And Adu would fill that role right now. I don't know what what they call him, Big Z at Kentucky. Uh, yeah, Big Z. Mm-hmm. He, he said he was going to uh, allow Pope a conversation to see if he could talk him into staying. But it sounds like he may hit the portal too. Uh, but I think Cal Perry's going to have his choice of some big guys. Um, I'm just waiting for that first one. I thought it was going to happen over the weekend. Christian and I talked about it Friday, and I set the over under at two and a half. I thought it, they'd have three by now. Not that I'm, well, I'm not worried or anything. I just thought I thought we'd have something by now. Coach was also um, he was still preoccupied with awards and other things going on, and he did specify that he was going through the award ceremony. He was having fun, but also still recruiting mm-hmm. and making plenty of phone calls. So that could have upheld the process of getting somebody and and uh, finalizing everything. But the amazing thing about the portal is you never know who's going to get into the portal these days it can be somebody that played a lot of uh, minutes and then it can be players that are looking to take that next step somewhere else or someone who really played well and they're looking to move up a level you just never know what types of players are going to get in there i uh I may have made a mistake earlier i said i'd like to see a number one wide receiver go out and get a number one wide receiver in the portal i was like oh, there's probably not a guy like that and then sure enough, I look on Twitter, Penn State's number one wide receiver who had 58 catches last season has entered the portal. See, there it is. There you go. There you go. go get that guy. Okay. Step up and get you a number one. Also uh, on Twitter, Easton May, 
is uh, tweeting out, he expects Jacoby Criswell to hit the portal soon. His locker has been cleaned out. Expect an announcement soon. Not a surprise. I mean, the guy is uh, far enough along in his career. He wants to play. He wants to go where he's the quarterback. I get it. And I mean, it was obvious he's not the starting quarterback at Arkansas. He may not even be the backup quarterback. He was fighting for that number two spot, but sounds like Jacoby Criswell is out. And I hate that. I, I mean, Moralton kid, watched him in high school. The guy could sling it. I thought maybe he was going to be the guy. Came back home also. Yeah, came back home. But Jalen Green quickly. Taylor. Taylor Green, yeah, Taylor Green quickly took that job over and has that job locked up. All right, that's one hour down. Stefan, thank you. We appreciate you stopping by. Enjoyed it, guys. Sponsoring thank Kendall y'all. Biggs and being a part of our show. Absolutely. Coming up next, we got the uh, Razor Hog update. We'll uh, continue here at Burns Park for the Buzz Golf Tournament. This is Out of Bounds. Coach Kevin Kelly joins the zone each Wednesday, presented by Wooder Rock Athletic Club. The indoor pickleball facility is now open. Join the club today and save 30% off joining fees. Yep, that's the sounds of all my friends and another great deck party of mine. And what do you not hear? That's right, no mosquitoes. That's because Sanders Ground Essential provides me with a monthly mosquito barrier spray. Call them at 315-9395 or on the web at sandersground.com. That's it. I'm calling Mosquito Joe. I am done being chased in by mosquitoes. Let's just have our lawn company take care of our mosquito problem. You know, they take care of our lawn. We got our termite contract with them. Hey, the guy even gave me a haircut last time he was here. Seriously? I don't want a jack of all trades. I want a mosquito control expert. Mosquito Joe knows mosquitoes. Their first service is only $39 and there's no contracts. Okay, I guess you're right. What's their number? 501-508-2528. What was that again? 501-508-2528. MosquitoJoe.com. Heartland Rehabilitation and Care Center in Benton proudly offers compassionate and loving care to our veterans, meeting the unique needs of every veteran who calls Heartland home. Visit heartlandrehabcenter.com. 1037thebuzz.com. Get your iPhone or Droid app today and take us with you everywhere the wind blows. KABZ Little Rock. Buzz News with KARK's Claire Kreitz. One person is dead and at least nine others are hurt after a shooting at a block party in Wynn. It happened at a car wash on the corner of Williams Avenue and Martin Luther King Street. Arkansas State Police say of the nine people injured, two were run over by a car. ASP says no arrests have been made, but several persons of interest have been identified. RDOT has a new dashboard to help you see the state of roads across Arkansas. It shows how bridges and pavements are rated in accordance with Federal Highway Administration standards. It also gives status updates on construction construction projects, as well as roadway safety data. Today is the last day you can file your taxes. So far, the IRS has reported over 100 million returns. Those who file electronically should expect their refunds within three weeks. With direct deposit, it'll be even sooner. The average refund this year has been around $3,000. This is Claire Kreitz for the Buzz Radio Network. The United Cerebral Palsy Putt-Putt Club Crawl is coming April 27th to Little Rock's River Market. To register your four-person team, text UCPPUB to 41444. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with KARK's Juliana Cullen. Clouds will continue to increase as we move towards this afternoon, but it's still going to be a warm one out there today with temperatures topping out in the upper 70s and the lower 80s. We're dry for the remainder of your Monday late tonight. Maybe a few light showers and sprinkles possible, but a better chance for rain and storms on the way for your Tuesday afternoon. This is meteorologist Juliana Cullen with the Buzz Radio Network. Buy one, get one free at the Riverfront Steakhouse. This Thursday night, we're going to have prime rib, 12 ounces of prime rib served with all the mashed potatoes you can eat. Buy one, get one free. Pickup Truck Accessory Warehouse presents Match Game on Morning Mayhem. Listen for your chance to play their version of the classic TV game show. Brought to you by Pickup Truck Accessory Warehouse, Arkansas's truck accessory headquarters for over 30 years. Call 501-568-0040 today or click online at arkansatruck.com. The newest Forest River dealership is now open in Little Rock. Visit Arkansas's premier Forest River dealer, specializing in the sales and service of the Forest River lineup, along with a large selection of quality pre-owned RVs. We have an RV for every lifestyle and a payment for every budget. Plus, as part of the Camping World Dealer Network, you will have access to our national network of lenders, nationwide service network, and all of the Good Sam products and services. We can't wait to serve you at our newest location in Little Rock. See dealer for 
full details and disclaimers. Whoa, Howie, that's a lot of diamonds. What's going on? We're about to launch the biggest natural loose diamond event we've had in the history of Robert Irwin Jewelers. Any shape, any size? Yes, natural loose diamonds for any budget. Plus, get a free men's wedding band with every natural loose diamond purchase. Zero percent interest for up to five years. See a store for complete details. It's the biggest natural loose diamond and bridal event this weekend at the West Little Rock location in the Pleasant Ridge Town Center. Robert Irwin Jewelers, home of the meant-to-be guarantee. Upgrades are welcome. Tackle your out Outdoor projects with Greenway Equipment's Lawn Patrol Package. Handling is effortless with the John Deere 1023 E's Twin Touch Foot Controls with a hydrostatic transmission and four-wheel drive with power steering. The 60D Drive Over Auto Connect Belly Mower makes mowing easy, and the 120R Quick Park Loader is perfect for dirt moving and mulching projects. With 0% APR for 84 months and a six-year powertrain warranty, it's a deal you can't miss. For more information, head to your local Greenway or visit GoGreenway.com. With approved credit, see dealer for details. Get the inside scoop from the Hill when Homer's Ace Hardware presents Arkansas second baseman Peyton Stovall on 1037 The Buzz. Every Tuesday, Peyton joins Roger, David, and Justin on Morning Mayhem. They'll talk college baseball and whatever else comes to mind. It's Peyton Stovall every Tuesday morning with Morning Mayhem on 1037 The Buzz. Made possible by Homer's Ace Hardware. Need help? Ask Homer at any of locations, Cersei, BB, or Cabot. ESPN Radio Extra Point with Courtney Cronin. Can you imagine being the voice for 15 years and being okay with saying, I think it's time for a change because I don't feel like I'm getting through anymore. To hear someone, a fierce competitor who over the last couple of years lost to St. Peter's in the first round, lost to Oakland in the first round. His athletic director gives him the vote of confidence. He stays for about what, two-ish weeks, and then decides when Eric Musselman goes to USC, that opening happens at Arkansas, that that's the move he wants to make. And it works out in everyone's favor because think about how much he's going to be able to cash in on NIL opportunities at Arkansas. There's a $5 million NIL pool of money that goes into the NIL pool that he wasn't going to get. Now you get to start fresh and you have the resources to do it like that. Why wouldn't you leave? As a roofer, spring means the start of my busy season, which means I've got to get organized with help from Beacon. I can save time with Beacon Pro Plus and 24-7 access to live pricing, delivery tracking, order history, and more. Plus, this spring, I can earn $1,000 and the chance to win a $25,000 backyard renovation just by buying my certain teen shingles online with Beacon. No purchase necessary. Now that's what I call a spring cleanup. Visit BECN.com for official rules and to start earning entries eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Live from the Signal Media Studios, this is Out of Bounds with Joe Franklin and Wes Moore on 103.7 The Buzz. Razor Hog Update on Out of Bounds. Brought to you by Floyd's Seafood, Keel Avenue in Sherwood. It's crawfish season. Floyd's Seafood has live and cooked crawfish. Order yours today. Well, for the first time this year, we're talking about a Razor Hog Update with the Diamond Hogs losing a series. Arkansas falls to Alabama two games to one. Lost an extra innings on Saturday, then shut out yesterday. Now it's on to Texas Tech. 
7 o'clock ESPN2. Did not realize that. Saw the Arkansas baseball communication staff tweet that out. Carl Ravitch and Kyle Peterson nice. have the call. Man, that's the A-team coming in for the 7 o'clock game on ESPN2. 4 o'clock on Wednesday, and that's on the SEC Network. So we got a couple of games on the TV, not streaming, but on actual cable TV. Midweek game against Texas Tech. And then, of course, it is South Carolina uh, this weekend for Arkansas. As they tried to bounce back, losing yesterday 5 to nothing. I had not seen any of the rankings come out. So I was just looking. I'd, I expect Arkansas still to be number one in the rankings. I felt like they had uh, built a little bit of a pad between them and the number two team. I believe it was Clemson last week. Uh, but uh, if they don't, it, it's like I told somebody, it doesn't matter. All I, ne- all I need to see <laughs> out of Arkansas is a top eight seed. I, I want them to be hosting a regional, win that regional, host a super regional, and then move on to, to Omaha. And as uh, someone uh, last week was, uh, who was that? Jake. Jake was worried about being that number, number one. one overall seed because it's been years now since the overall number one seed has won it all. There you go. That's the uh, if you want to be optimistic or <laughs> stay positive about things, if they're not the number one seed, at least you don't have to worry about uh, that jinx, I guess you can call it, about the number one seed winning it all. Here's that guy I was telling you about. Oh, softball team wins. They go on the road. Congratulations to them. They went to South Carolina this weekend, knocked off number 25 South Carolina. So they keep getting it done. Softball team for the third straight weekend gets a series win over a ranked team. And then the uh, there was some uh, the, 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 the football maybe the football I was going to mention guess not but uh, anyway so that's a look at the Razor Hog update Penn State standout wide receiver that was the one I was telling you about Keandre Lambert Smith has officially entered the portal 126 career catches at Penn State a team high 53 catches last season there you go you wonder know? wonder why he was looking to move on especially at this point because the timing. Just it, it's odd where, you know, they're they're going through their spring practices. And uh, if he was the number one guy last year, you would think same happens now. Maybe a, a change of quarterback or something could could be could factor into it. But new OC, still, do yeah. they have a change with coaching staff? I but still, know. why now? Why not before? Hey, he went through spring ball and saw something he didn't like. Maybe they, get, they signed another wide receiver or somebody's coming on. And he's not going to be the number one guy. Maybe he saw that happening, too. He may be the number two. Was, didn't want, I don't know. I'm just speculating. Uh, Georgia has somebody. Andrew Paul, second-year running back, is getting into the portal. So that that's what you're going to see now for football with some of the spring practices wrapping up. And you're going to see, look, you're going to see, we told you about Jacoby Criswell. It looks like he'll be entering the portal. That's going to happen. Arkansas is going to lose some guys that went through spring ball, and they see the writing on the wall that they're not going to get the playing time they they feel like they deserve or want, so they're going to go somewhere else to try to get that playing time. So that just opens up a scholarship for Arkansas to go into the portal and try to find somebody else, uh, create a little depth like I was talking about in, in, certain situ- in certain positions. And I think – Linebacker is a is a need right now. I think uh, they got a couple of young linebackers they feel very good about for the future, but still you need some depth at linebacker. So I expect them to go out and ha- uh, have some additions in the portal, uh, along with some uh, defections out of the portal. Also, the Kentucky press conference got a lot of play around here. Did you, Joe? Did you see the Kentucky fans tweeting out the attendance, comparing no, the no. Kentucky attendance to the Arkansas attendance? No, and that's just ridiculous to think that it's gotten to that point where you're talking about the attendance for a press conference. Now, most of them they were ready to move on from John Calipari. There were some that they, you know, they've seen what he's done over the past 15 years, and maybe the last few years weren't as good as they were the first few, but they know the caliber of coach that he is. And when you have that caliber of coach, if you're thinking about making a change there, you want to get at least that caliber or better. And it's hard to be better than a John Calipari. And so now they're kind of stressing and and looking for any kind of thing they can because who they ended up with, Mark Pope, that, that name in itself doesn't say better than John Calipari. Now, that doesn't mean, because we've talked about it with big names and people being enamored by those big names, that doesn't mean he can't go on to have success. But with, you know, looking at it in print, if you're looking at John Calipari, his resume versus Mark Pope, it's not even a question. It doesn't match up. So 
now they're looking for any any kind of advantage that they can to say that you know we're better here in some regard yeah you may have taken our coach <laughs> we may have pope but look at look at how many people came to support pope we're better than you okay yeah <laughs> tip of the cap good job their support has always been there though no that's doubt. never been questioned no but they had that it looked like the whole arena was full for that <laughs> press conference 16 17 18 thousand people were there for the press conference but and not to say anything or belittle arkansas so i thought it was great for arkansas um because of a, uh, the situation with the uh, rain and everything i thought it was nasty uh, this one from the 501 on our text line. And, by the way, the text line is still open. If you want to jump in, in there and have your business sponsor the text line, you can jump in and have that. Uh, the 501 says Razorback Baseball is number two in one of the polls. Okay. All right. Did not. Hadn't seen that. A&M is number one. This is from somebody else in the 501. A&M number one. Hogs number two. Kentucky number three. Tennessee number four. Four SEC teams in a row in the in the polls. Okay. Usually, I get a an email from D one baseball, and I got had so many emails when I was on the golf course. I deleted a bunch, but I did not see one from D one baseball. But that is easy to check. I can do a little Google search. Uh, Hogs dropped to number two. This is somebody else. Okay, thank you uh, guys for jumping in here. Here's the uh, here's a post uh, 501 says saw a post that they're expecting Jacoby Kurtzwell to hit the portal. Yep, said his locker room is already cleaned out. Yep, I saw that tweet also. I don't think that surprises anyone. Um, J.K. Caitlin Clark wants to win a gold medal in the Olympics. Sign me up. What do you say? Uh, I mean, yeah, if she makes the team, they should be on track for it. They're coached by Don Staley who was a national championship winning coach three times, and they have great players on the U.S. Olympic team. So if she makes the squad, they have a great chance of winning. That would create interest for Olympic women's basketball. There would be more people watching the women play for whatever medal or whatever game than ever before. That's what Caitlin Clark brings. She is a draw now. She is. She is. Um, it, it's always about – time also because you know they're going to be in paris and they're going to be so many hours ahead that was an issue that they ran into with the previous olympics when they were in uh japan yeah when they were in japan Mm -hmm. and we're talking you know early morning hours because there was uh one of the players aja wilson and uh they were saying it was her birthday and so it was my birthday the next day, <laughs> and I thought about it. I was like, wait, we m- may have the same birthday because there's so many hours ahead. They're a day ahead, so it's already her birthday there. And it uh, turns out, yeah, we have the same birthday. From the 501, this is about Kendall Diggs. Tell him, please, I'm a big fan. He's a joy to watch play and such a well-spoken young man. Couldn't agree anymore. Love having Kendall Diggs on every week. He is uh, – and look, he hasn't been hitting uh, up to his standards. The average isn't where he wants it right now, but uh, I know Kendall will get it figured out, and he's going to go through one of those stretches where he is uh, red hot at the plate, and he'll, he'll get that average back up before it's all said and done. Just struggling a little bit right now. Any coach, uh, this from the 501 says, uh, any coach he had playing, oh, baseball coach, did not want them playing ba- golf, said it would mess up the swing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, and – that was something I grew up playing baseball, and so the first time I picked up a golf club, it just it felt weird. Like I've never gotten into playing golf, but just picking up the club felt weird to me. Oh, here's a question we need to ask: Tre- uh, Step or uh, Kendall, is any uh, relation to Trevin or Stephen Diggs? It's a oh, unique wow. name. It, yeah, there's yeah. not a lot of Diggs out there. Mm-hmm. I wonder if somewhere down the line they may be a little kin. That's a good question. I'll try to. I'll write that in my book for next Monday. I'll, I'll I'll jot that down. Now they are from Maryland. They're from the East Coast. Where's Kendall from? He's from Kansas. Kansas. That's right. He is. We looked that up. Yeah. Okay. Maybe somewhere down the line. I'm got my notebook out now. I'm gonna write that down. Diggs relation. Thanks for that question. Uh, one more from the 501. Tiger has already won. Just making the cut is remarkable. Yes, no, 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 no doubt about it. I mean, that's a record. Twenty was it? Twenty four straight cuts made at the Masters. That's one of those that you know he's putting way out there. It's going to be hard for somebody to break that. Look, Tiger was the 
greatest golfer of our era. All I'm saying is, I th- I hate to see him. Pl- it pains me to watch him play. Mm-hmm. The what we saw on Saturday and Sunday, and if he was to say, have a press conference next week and say, I'm, I'm done playing, for, you know, competitive golf, I would Tiger, be okay with. It. Tiger is 48 years old, so you know here next year he would well the fo- it would have to be the following year when uh the season starts back but he would be eligible to mm-hmm. be on the next tour i would like to see him play on the champions tour just so we can watch him in person uh, hopefully he would uh, make it and uh who knows by then they may be in a different rotation not part of the the champions tour at pleasant valley uh, when it comes here the uh, simmons bank <laughs> oh could you imagine that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it'd be uh, incredible now tiger he's still he, even if he was a part of champions tour mm-hmm. he's gonna pick and choose what tournaments he plays right, that's in. what i'm saying um right now they're part of the playoff you have to qualify for yeah. it and, and i don't know if tiger would play enough events to to qualify to be in the the playoff if he qualified i bet he would play in the playoff but you know, i know there's been talk of that them changing that and get a, a regular date uh, later on or earlier on in the season. And if that's the case, then maybe it would be one that he would select and play in and just come on his own. That would be, heck, yeah, that would be <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. I would love to go see Tiger play at Pleasant somewhere. That's always cool when, you, when you've when you played a course before and then the pre- professional golfers go out there and play it and you see where they <laughs> hit it, where he compared to you hit it, and watch them hit and chip and putt. And from some of the places where you've been, you're like, God, they make it look so easy. Um, Nathan Monin says he ain't playing the Champions Tour, not his style. First time he's finished last at the Masters, just needs to hang it up and coach mm-hmm. his son. And that's that's right, Nathan, right on. I could see I, – I would I would take that bet, Nathan. I bet he plays in a Champions Tour event. Okay, one one of many. Yeah. I mean, he may he may play in one yeah, yeah, or a few, yeah. play in a few. I can see where he pl- selected schedule and maybe plays in the majors, you know. Add that to his major list, <laughs> winning a, a senior open championship or senior open. I, I don't think the days of Tiger playing a full schedule, those days are done. Oh, well, Tiger hasn't played a full schedule since he was first broke in. But even, you know, with the Champions Tour and the golf carts, and it's an easier schedule, there aren't as many events. And, of course, most of the tournaments are three rounds as opposed to four rounds. But even at he's, – He's still not going to do that. Know, they, instead of – Like, I think Nathan mentioned a great point there. His son being the up-and-coming golfer he is, he is going to pour a lot into him. Mm-hmm. No, that's – Heck yeah, as a dad, that's what you want to do is watch your son uh, do some of the same things that you were able to do. Another steady year west, DeChambeau. Uh, what about DeChambeau? Uh, DeChambeau, that, um, he, he kind of dropped off yeah, the radar. He did. he did. Quite a bit. Uh, I think uh, one day he will – I think one day he'll win the Masters. He's got the, yeah, he's got the game for it. It just – this wasn't his year. I think the more he plays it, he's going to learn the course, learn the misses, learn some of the things that, you know, learn from his mistakes from this year, but he's got the game. i tell you what, I've never been a DeChambeau fan, but I listened to his uh, press conference after the round on Thursday and Friday, and just the things he said. He comes off a lot better in person speaking to the media than he does when you're just watching him on the course. He has some mannerisms that kind of irritate me on the course, and he's always, you know, he'll hit a good shot, but he's still mad. You know, it's like, <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be three feet left to there, you know, or, you know, looking at his caddy. He's like, intense. Are you kidding me? You know, how does that not break a half an inch to the right? What, what? <sighs> you know, he just, well, okay, that kind so, of guy. Now, it just kind of irritates so you me. So you do like Jordan Speed, though, right? <sighs> He's not, no, I mean, I'll, Jordan I mean, Spieth is ten times worse. Yes, thank you. Yes, yeah, he's no. way over the top. Yeah, uh, Spieth gets on my nerves too. I like him as a guy, and I've heard him speak a couple of times. But no, there are things he does on the course. It's very hard to watch. Did Keegan Bradley win the Masters? No, Anchor no, Buckeye. no, he no. Didn't. you didn't win. Anchor <laughs> oh, Buckeye. Oh, oh, is that his guy? Yeah, yeah Keegan I'm guessing Bradley. so. Uh, that, now, now Trey could have told Angry Buckeye at the time, Keegan Bradley ain't winning. He ain't winning the Masters. Uh, J.K. says, didn't Tiger design a golf course in Missouri? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, D.J. was mentioning the poor attendance of the spring game. Um, now, during the Calipari introduction, believe it or not, but I think that Hunter Yurichek set the tone for a poor showing of the spring game by acknowledging the coach's success in other sports as well as their names and no mention of the football team or coach, which may have 
been rightly so, but he could have at least said some encouraging words. You know. Um, wait, wait. So, so what happened now? Here's what happened. Hunter Juracek recognized all the current sports that are being played. He's like, man, we're rolling right now. We got the number one baseball team in America. We've got the number one women's track team in America. We've got the number two men's track team in America. Our softball team is ranked so and so. And the golf team, the men's golf team, Mm -hmm. the women's golf team. These were all sports being played right now. Yes. And that's why he mentioned those sports. That's why there wasn't a mention. (laughs) Of seeing him in the football, <laughs> now, but it he, wasn't because of he did mention him though because he on, mentioned yes, all, all the coaches, coaches that yes. were in attendance. Yes, he did, and it was pretty cool too to see them all lined up there on the front row, sitting there, and you know, just support yeah. Calipari's hire. So I, I don't think it was a it, shot. It, it at wasn't, football yeah, and it wasn't any kind of omission or anything. Look, football. We said this. You and I talked about it Friday. Football has been overshadowed this spring. Yeah, because of baseball and the success that they've had. Because of Musselman leaving, because of the Calipari hire, football was put on the back burner. And throw that on the fact that they weren't very good last year. There's not a whole lot of excitement about this football team except for Bobby Petrino returning as now as the offensive coordinator. That's honestly that's the only reason I went back at well. That and it's my job. And you know, I knew we might talk about it today, so I wanted to watch some of it, at least have an opinion on what I saw. But the other draw for me was I wanted to see the offense. I wanted to see, was it similar at all to what we've seen in the past with Bobby Petrino? Now, granted, that was a decade ago or more than a decade ago when that offense was clicking. But uh, that's one of the reasons I tuned in. I wanted to see it. But, no, the spring game was back page news uh, for this weekend. I mean, you think about uh, everything that I had going on this weekend. Football was way down the line. I mean, a number one thing I wanted to do was watch the Ma- or watch the Masters and watch the Diamond Hawks, and then turned out, and we're going to talk about it later. I watched the MMA fights this weekend. They were great. It, it was. It was great. I'm not a big MMA guy, but I had a blast watching it. It was so much fun. They were great competitive fights, and and th- there was just so much. And then throw on top of it, Joe, it was like the perfect weekend to be outside, to do whatever you wanted to do. You know, to to go to the pool, to to do yard work, to do just sit outside, just be outside. That it was so awesome. So still that, feels amazing now. No, and so that's that's what I did Saturday. I was outside and not in front of the TV watching the spring game. That's why I missed it, and I think that's why, uh, because of all these factors, you didn't have a bunch of people from Central Arkansas driving up two and a half hours to watch the spring game. And let's face it, too, the spring game has been watered down so much over the years to where there was a time where it was like a a real football game. Arkansas at least did a better job than, let's say, Ole Miss. Ole Miss cut their field in half, had a 50-yard field, played seven-on-seven, basically touch football. And, look, I'm not criticizing them to to each their own. You know, they didn't have to worry about someone tearing up a a knee or, you know, having a concussion or having some serious injury, you know, that cost them the season next season. They had a tug-of-war I mean, they did all kinds of different events to make it just something different than a football game. I'll be honest. what That really isn't a lot different from what they're doing anyway. All they did was they put certain things in, they implemented certain things to make you see the differences or make it feel more like a practice setting and what it is. But that's all the spring football game is. It's a practice, and it's a glorified practice. People have gotten used to seeing a little bit more, but – we know that there's weird scoring that goes on, and it varies from school to school. So you can put any kind of spin you want to on these spring games, and that was a good twist, actually, to do some tug of war. And, and you know where they probably got that from, though? The Pro Bowl games. Mm-hmm. Because everybody is so critical about all-star games, period, but that one specifically where they say, well, I can't watch that. That's not real football. Spring football is not real football, so what's the difference? I guess the difference is you're out of season right now, and then um, you'll be in season um, or at the end of the season Mm -hmm. when the Pro Bowl is going on, Mm -hmm. going into the Super Bowl, and that's why people are like, nah, it's not real football. I can't watch. Mm -hmm. Uh, One more for you before we hit this break. Um, Willsmeyer has got to be playing because of defense only because he sure isn't a hitter. You know, Willsmeyer has been – it's been – Kind of perplexing because last year he hit over 300 for Missouri, and we haven't seen that this year for Arkansas. He 
he was a much better hitter last year, but you're exactly right. The reason he's still been in the lineup is his defense. We've seen him take away hits with the, the glove and his speed out there. And then we saw the throw a runner out at third base not too about a weekend ago. He had a hose out there from center field to third base, gunned the guy down. And we all know Coach Van Horn values defense a lot, and especially up the middle. Shortstop, second baseman, center fielder, catcher, he's going to make sure he has good defenders, and I think that is why uh, you still see Wills Meyer playing right now. Let's, uh, take, let's take this real quick before we hit the break. Rick's in East End. Rick, welcome in to Out of Bounds. Hey, Rick. Hello, Rick. Hey, can All right, you well, hear me? Hey, what's up, Rick? Yeah, keep it Yeah, quick. we got you. Yeah, okay. So, uh, in my opinion, y'all been talking about golf. I say the best three golfers with a lot of other people right underneath there is Bobby Jones, Jack Nicklaus, and Tiger Woods. I don't see how. Now, there's a lot of other ones, too. But I say in my pick three, that's my pick three. And then I got a comment on the Razorback football. Hey, I'm glad it's keeping it quiet. I'm Just flying under the quiet. radar. Yeah, that's what I like with Petrino and Pittman flying under the radar until, <laughs> bam. Let's get it going. And then, uh, uh, Rick, I don't uh, think it's being intentionally uh, done, but maybe it works out. And then my last comment is uh, uh, we don't want the baseball team to peak until they get to the regional. So don't nobody be worried about that. We want them to peak. We don't want them to peak right now. We want them to peak and be ready for the regional, Southern Regional, and Omaha. So be patient. Be patient. Hey, thank Thank you all so much. I love your show. Thanks, Rick. Have a great day. Yeah, he's right. And There's no panic here. I hope no one's uh, sounding the alarm just because they lost a series to Alabama. Not a big deal. They'll bounce back, and Rick's exactly right. You want them playing their best in June. All right, now we'll take our break. We'll take more phone calls when we come back, 661-1037, 661-1037, live today from Burns Park for the Buzz Golf Tournament, the spring edition of the Buzz Golf Tournament. You didn't make, you uh, weren't able to join us today? Come on out in the fall, right? Yeah, we'll be back in the fall doing it one more time. Stick around. It's out of bounds. It's the Average Guy Movie Review, Thursdays in the Zone with Justin and DJ. Presented by Rock and Roll Sushi. The guys will recap or look ahead to what's trending on TV, the big screen, Netflix, or however you receive your TV service. Presented by Rock and Roll Sushi. Deliciously twisted flavors and a rock and roll vibe that will blow your mind. Rockandrollsushi.com. This is Sports Center. It was a second green jacket for the world's number one as Scotty Scheffler won his second Masters in three years yesterday. He shot an 11 under for the weekend. He closed out the tournament with a four under 68. That put him four shots ahead of Sweden's Ludwig Albert. He also topped Max Homa, Colin Morikawa, and Tommy Fleetwood, who closed out the top five. This is Scheffler's ninth professional win in the last 26 months. He's won the Arnold Palmer twice, the Players' Championship twice, and now he's won at Augusta twice. And in NASCAR, Chase Elliott found his way to victory lane yesterday at the Auto Trader Echo Park Automated 400 at Texas Motor Speedway. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Is your Oaklawn thoroughbred racing action so close you can feel it? Is it the view from your trackside luxury suite? However you like it, racing season is off and running at Oaklawn with live races every weekend through May 4th. It's fun by the furlong all season long. Make your reservations today at oaklawn.com. 
What's your Oak Lawn? Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Howie, that's a lot of diamonds. What's going on? We're about to launch the biggest natural loose diamond event we've had in the history of Robert Irwin Jewelers. Any shape, any size? Yes, natural loose diamonds for any budget. Plus, get a free men's wedding band with every natural loose diamond purchase. Zero percent interest for up to five years. See a store for complete details. It's the biggest natural loose diamond and bridal event this weekend at the West Little Rock location in the Pleasant Ridge Town Center. Robert Irwin Jewelers, home of the meant to be guarantee. Upgrades are welcome. I like to be active and as you get older, I know it because I am older. You're more prone to injury, and I could not get rid of the pain. QC Kinetics patient Diane Richardson talking about how a hiking injury left her in awful pain. No one wants to live in pain. I certainly don't want to live in pain. I don't have time for pain. Diane had heard about regenerative medicine, so she called QC Kinetics and started treatment right away. And the results were incredible. I couldn't believe it. I honestly was skeptical, but the pain went from a 10 to a 0. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in using natural biologics, healing properties from your own body to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. There's no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. The result was phenomenal. I mean, I was not feeling any pain. I'm able to do everything that I want to do. If you have pain from arthritis or injury, this may be the solution you're looking for. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. It was a game changer. Call QC Kinetics, 501-222-8440. That's 501-222-8440. 501-222-8440. Make this summer one to remember by stopping by Arch Marine in North Little Rock. Arch is all about creating fun on our lakes and rivers. You have to come by and see the new 2024 G3 Tritunes, the hottest and coolest ride out there. We're easy to find. Take the Levy exit. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? Oh, no way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. See shelter agent Vic Seidenschwartz in Carlisle, Lawrence Forrester in Cabot, or Hayden Strickland in Sherwood. Morning Mayhem on location Wednesday in Conway at Luxury Pool and Spa for their 20% off store-wide sale. Don't miss out. The sale ends Saturday and daily giveaways include PK Grills. The sale is valid in Russellville and the new location, Stanford Road in Conway. Welcome back. We are out at the Buzz Golf Tournament today at Burns Park. Fantastic day for a lot of golf. Morning flight. Had a uh, great group out here. And this afternoon, even more golfers this afternoon. I forgot to look at the leaderboard to see how many exactly teams we had out here. But it it was a bunch, a bunch of golfers. The lot was full here and across the way. So you can always kind of get a gauge of how many vehicles are here. I, uh, I, I was talking about, I, I didn't get an email from D1 Sports, and our listeners are awesome. They sent me in screenshots and everything else from D1 Sports with the rankings. I got the email during the break, finally. I don't know why they were a little late. But, yeah, Texas A&M is the new number one team. I did not realize A&M swept Vanderbilt. That's a great series win uh, for the Aggies. Uh, Vanderbilt was a top five, top six team. Yeah, number six in the country before that series against A&M. So I have no prog- problem with A&M jumping Arkansas to number one. Arkansas's number two, Kentucky, number three. Wow, what about Kentucky? They keep rolling, 30-5 and five overall. Uh, they are same record as Arkansas. They jumped up from number eight to number three. Tennessee is number four. So your top four teams in the country are all SEC teams, A&M, Arkansas, Kentucky, and Tennessee, two from the west, two from the east. You also have Vanderbilt ranked at 13. Alabama moves up from 25 to 18 after winning the series over Arkansas. South Carolina, who Arkansas plays this weekend, they are number 20. And Georgia is in at the in the rankings this week at number 24. Mississippi State and Florida drop out of the rankings 
and Georgia's in it. So the SEC, very well represented, especially at the top of the rankings with A&M, Arkansas, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Wow. All right, let's take some phone calls. 661-1037, 661-1037. thought we had Jake. Jake may have got uh, – now the phones are lighting up. Let me know when you get them, and uh, we'll take some of those phone calls. And I'll hit the uh, text line real quick while you're answering those phone calls. And um, let me see who we have. Yeah, J.K. says, I was wanting to bring this up. The uh, ex-Hogs field goal kicker, yeah. Bates. Jake Bates. Jake Bates did it again uh, for the Michigan UFL team. Had a 55, I think it was, 55-yard field goal. He's now has three kicks, 55 or plus, in consecutive weeks. Uh, I got to think. He has a lot of range on that leg. And oh. it, he was the kickoff specialist, so. He was there for a reason. Uh, the Michigan coach is mad. NFL teams are illegally contacting him already. Even though he said he's under contract. Wait, how's that illegally contacting him? I because UFL is supposed to be the platform for these guys to get to the NFL. So I, I can imagine it'd be illegally. I wouldn't think so either. But I heard this morning that uh, they said that he was upset because teams are already uh, contacting him about uh, trying out and going to camp with somebody. I don't know why you would think that. Well, you're gonna lo- a- you're gonna lose him regardless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's happening. I would you think know it would that. just be a natural step up after you know he shows what he can do. That's what this league's all about. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Jake. He joins us now. Jake, welcome to Out of Bounds. Hey, afternoon, Wes. Afternoon, Freaky Joe. How you guys doing? Oh, Good. Fantastic. Man, let me tell you something. I, I envy you guys being out there at Burns Park, but. It is a beautiful day up here in Wisconsin today, I'll tell you that much. Not a cloud in the sky and 74 degrees. Whoa. Yeah. Anyway, uh, real quick, I wanted to say, man, y'all need to keep Kendall on even after he's gone from the Razorbacks. That dude is, that, that's just good radio right there, man. Whatever that guy does in life, he's going to be successful. That's a, he's just a, I enjoy his segment every single week. And, uh, I hope he knows how much, and I can't, I know I'm not the only one, but I hope he knows how much the fans enjoy just hearing his perspective on the game and, and what happens. And, and also his positive attitude, man, it, it's just, it, it's refreshing to hear someone like that. And so well-spoken at his age. So, uh, yeah, y'all, y'all need to keep him on, man. <laughs> but, I was going to say, uh, real quick, you, you guys were talking about Tiger possibly playing, you know, in the cha- in the Chance Tour or whatever, or the Senior Senior Tour. Yeah. I uh, I worked one of those tours, and I can't. I don't know if it was a PGA or if it was a Senior Tour. Probably look it up. It was in 2004 at Diamante Country Club in Hot Springs Village, and uh, it's when I was still in the military, and we worked security for it, and the PGA put us up in rooms and. Give us all the beer we wanted and everything. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we worked security, like, for the clubhouse and, you know, the different places or whatever. And um, I just remember watching those guys hit the ball, and I'm like, oh, my God. And then, like, the I don't know if you've ever been to Diamante West, but the mm-hmm. greens themselves are massive. Mm-hmm. Like, to me, they were anyway. They're like, uh, I'm like, that's on a green. That's a fairway. It's just smooth. You know, I mean, they, they, and these guys were putting sixty foot putts like it was it was no big deal, and just dropping them. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see uh, Tiger at a local course or something like that. Man, that that'd be a great thing. But yeah, he's you know I hate to see the shape he's in, but it, I think he'll be in the competitor that he is. I think he'll continue going as long as he possibly can. So. That being said, don't worry about the Hawks, guys. It, you know, it's baseball. I mean, it, this is no, – I know you guys aren't worried. I'm I'm talking to the audience. It, it, this is baseball. This happens. It's not a big deal. We're, we're still rolling. we still got the best pitching staff in the country. So, love the show, guys. Love you guys. Go Hawks. Thanks, Jake. But you know about Tiger, though, when you are such a big-time competitor, once you realize you can't compete at that level anymore, then you're just like – I'm done. Well, that's why it sounds so odd coming from Tiger when he says it was a good day. Yeah. And it was a better day for round four than it was for round three. But yeah. 
it wasn't a good day and then finishing last. That That's not where we're wanting to see Tiger. That's not where he's wanting to see himself in his game. Because for that course, I'm sure every time he steps onto that course, he feels like he has a chance just because he knows the course so well. Yeah. But, you know, he's his his body is failing him now. He's at that point. Yeah, you, you saw a fresh Tiger on Thursday and Friday battling unreal conditions with the wind, and he was able to be one over par, and then the conditions got a little better, but then his body failed him, and he's shooting 82, 77. Seven. Yeah, and that just shows that, you know, he can't keep up four straight days of walking those hills at Augusta. It's going to be interesting also, you know, speaking about his son becoming, you know, an up-and-coming golfer, when does Charlie beat Tiger <laughs> on the course? And that can't be too far away. He's, I think, uh, 13, 14 years old or so. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's not far. <laughs> That's hard for a dad to <laughs> take. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go to JW. He joins us now. JW, welcome down to Bounds. Hey, guys. Hey, uh, what's up? One thing about, um, you know, about Kendall, man, is that catch, that diving catch. Man, that was like a football play diving for the ball. It was just unbelievable. But uh, I got a question on this transfer portal. So I've been looking on 24 7 and on three. And that's the only two I know of. But it doesn't list any Razorbacks. It doesn't list a lot of players. Is there a certain – y'all say they're going in there, but they're not showing up. So is there a different place you look, or is there a certain timeline that it'll register in there that it's not in there? Because it's up to date as of right now, like a 30 minutes ago. Yeah, they may not have put the paperwork in, but they're announcing their plans to get in. Yeah, the tweet that we read um... – Jacoby had cleaned out his locker, and that's a pretty clear indication that, you know, he's he's packing up, leaving, and going, and the paperwork like just hasn't been filed yet. Dave, the running back, the Augusta, mm -hmm. he's not in there, but they said he's in there, but I just didn't know why he wasn't showing up. So I didn't know if he had a change of heart, what to do. No. Maybe Jacoby <laughs> no. go to eight. It's just the paperwork. You know? It's the paperwork that takes a while to okay. process. So can they still contact them even though, hey, they, do they have to – does it have to show up on that board for them to contact or can they go ahead and contact them? You're supposed to wait until they're in the portal, but, J.W., you know how things work. As soon as, uh, oh, yeah, let's I say, the high school coach or one of his guys, you know, knows that he's going to the portal, right. there are people right. contacting them to know. What do you think yeah. uh, with Jacoby going to A-State, baby, up there with Malik Hornsby? And I'll hang up with him. Thanks. All right. Thanks, JW. Um, man, they have their quarterback, don't they? Yes, they do. But there was some question about Jalen Rayner. Him possibly he, getting into the did. portal. He did. He got in the portal but came back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we were in fact when spring ball started and I I saw the roster and one of the, the headlines that the university put out, mm -hmm. you know, talking about how many returning players they had and how many young players they had last year and led by, you know, freshman of the year Jalen Rayner and I was like well, that where did I how did I miss that you know I knew he got in the portal and then you know time goes by and I just assumed he signed with somebody and didn't realize that he was back and that that's a huge addition I, man I look around and I want Jacoby to play and he wants to play right away that's I, not the place yeah I wouldn't that's say not that's not happening a, there you know a quarterback you're one play away from getting in but he doesn't want to be the guy waiting on that one play to to get in also if you're talking about players let's say Jacoby Criswell is as good as Jalen Rayner, mm -hmm. and and the competition is close. But in a close competition, you're always going to go with a younger player anyway, yeah. because you can establish more with them and you can see more growth. The in the upside too, yeah. What they're looking at, and he's been in the offense for now a year in spring ball, whereas Criswell would be walking in trying to learn the playbook. He would be at a di disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Uh, man, UCA's got an established quarterback that's been there a couple of years. If he wanted to go down to that level um, to play, but he I, he can find a place. Yeah, I, I don't think he, you just limit it to Arkansas. He can go anywhere he wants. Right. To. But I would like to, you know, selfishly, I, I want to see him stay in state and play, so we can see him every Saturday. But just may have to watch him on TV somewhere else every Saturday. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap up uh, the second hour of Out of Bounds. Just flying by today. I didn't see Ryan in Hot Springs. Ryan, if you'll hold, I'll take your call right when we come back uh, from the break. We've already started the music. 
We'll uh, take that break. We'll come back. We'll answer your phone call, and we'll wrap it up. Stick around. It's Out of Bounds. Hey, it's David Basil, and the annual Luxury Pool and Spa 20% off storewide sale is going on now through this Saturday. Don't miss it. This sale includes everything storewide, including patio furniture by Fisco, rebates on pool life and buckle sale pool chemicals, and even spas like I have at my house are also discounted lower than truckload pricing. Daily giveaways include PK Grills and Luxury Pool and Spa $150 gift cards. Weekly giveaways include a Pentair pool cleaner. It's the 20% off storewide sale going on now through Saturday at Luxury Pool and Spa in Conway and Russellville. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go, but I did ask for help, and Covenant House was there for me. One in 10 young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, Covenant House is there, providing hot meals, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed, and I'm succeeding. To learn more, go to safeplacetosleep.org today. Three little words no parent wants to hear. My tummy hurts. And it always seems to happen at the worst times. Like in the middle of the morning rush, when you still have homework to check and lunches to pack, and of course, you're already late for work. Luckily, there's Pepto Kids. Pepto Kids gummies help relieve occasional stomach upsets, turning those three words into these three words. I feel better. Bad time for stomach upsets? Good time for Pepto Kids gummies. Fast support for little tummies. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Fun Monday edition of Morning Mayhem is in the books. Want to thank the folks out of Burns Park for hosting. Also want to thank Chris Kane, Pat Bradley, and Bill Vickery for coming on the show. The guys are back in studio for the only time this week on Tuesday. Talk all things Razorbacks football, basketball, and softball. It's all coming up Tuesday's show right here on Morning Mayhem. Hey folks, Trey Johnson here with HJ Trailer Sales in Hot Springs. Spring is coming and everyone is getting ready to get outside. So if you need your trailer serviced or repaired, let us help you out. Or you may be needing a trailer to get your golf cart to the golf course. Or you need a trailer for work. Or if you just need to buy a new trailer for recreational use. Let us help you at HJ Trailer Sales with one of the best service departments in the state. Visit us in Hot Springs or check us out on Facebook or at HJTrailerSales.com. Whether you own a local business or a global one. You know that these days, generating growth is a challenge. By teaming with Bank of America, you'll not just stay ahead of the curve, you'll move it. With access to experts, award-winning insights, and business solutions so powerful, you'll make every move matter, locally and globally. Visit bankofamerica.com slash bankingforbusiness to learn more. What would you like the power to do? Copyright 2024, Bank of America N.A. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on Carol. She's more focused on hitting a high note than the car in front of her. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California. Subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates Northbrook, Illinois. Johnston's Home Center in Benton is your one-stop shop for appliances, bedding, lawn care, and sewing. Speaking of appliances, Johnston's Home Center has a wide selection of home appliances for cooking, cleanup, laundry, and refrigeration. Johnston's also has mattresses, so you can get a good night's sleep, plus a wide selection of vacuums to keep your home classy and clean. Johnston's Home Center, 1421 Military Road in Benton, or on the web at johnstonshomecenter.com. If they don't have it, you probably don't need it. Showers bringing May flowers for most people, but at Guatney Chevrolet, it's May showers of savings. Guatney is making it easy to treat yourself with a new 2024 Chevy Silverado truck with an off-road performance package, heated leather seats, and more. It can be yours for under 70000 with 2.9% financing. 
They have sedans too. The 2024 Chevy Malibu for under 23000 That's a heck of a deal. With spring savings like this, we don't know what May is going to bring, but keep an eye on Guatney Chevrolet to find out. Go to the website, guatneychevrolet.com, take a look at all the inventory, find the vehicle you want, then head to the Gregory Street exit in Jacksonville and see our friends at Guatney Chevrolet. Westmore, Joe Franklin with you live at Burns Park for the Buzz Golf Tournament. It's the spring tournament. We'll be back at Rebsman in the fall for that tournament. So if you couldn't play today, make your plans and join us in the fall. It's always a good time. We had, I just counted it up, 16 teams this morning, 30 teams right now. So if you want to, uh, if you want to think about, think it out, you like a faster round of golf, you want, may you want to join me in the morning and get that morning round. But we, see, when you put the word out there, when you put the word out there, yeah. and then it increases the number of teams, that's going to yeah. slow it down in the morning now also. Now you're thinking, Joe, yeah, go ahead and play in the afternoon. You'll love <laughs> the afternoons. Keep the mornings free for us. No, we played in four hours. We teed off a little after I mean, they were on top of it. I mean, at 8 o'clock, they made the announcement. We were on our way, teeing off probably at 8.05. And at 12.05, I was in the clubhouse getting me some Corky's barbecue. Good job, Joe and the guys at Corky's taking care of us once again. One of our uh, many great sponsors out here, of course, Tito's and the uh, Handmade Vodka. They uh, they have uh, their Tito's tent out here serving up some Tito's drinks and uh Mac has always been a, a big partner here at the Buzz, and it was great to see him out here playing. He's out there right now, actually playing this afternoon. But big thanks to Tito's also for uh, being a part of the Buzz Golf Tournament. 661-1037, 661-1037. Told uh, Ryan we'd take his call, and that's what we're going to do. Ryan is in Hot Springs. Ryan, welcome to Out of Bounds. How's it going? Oh, it's all Good. good. That's good. Well, that was that was twenty. I'm gonna be saying jinx. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I, I'm just uh, glad y'all are having a good day. I just wanted to call in and talk about the uh, spring game. You know, I'm not I'm not too, getting too excited, but I mean, they they definitely gave left you some stuff that uh you're gonna like, and it's stuff that I feel like that will translate in the fall. And that's you know watching uh, Green put the, put the ball where just his receiver could uh, could get it. I, I feel like that's that kind of thing, and watching the running backs and their vision, that, that stuff that regardless of the competition that's going to translate, uh, that was hard not to uh, get excited about. Um, I will say this about the baseball team. Go ahead. I was going to say the most encouraging thing for me was the running game. Seeing them be able to run the ball, and, you know, past years, you know, Pittman wants to run the ball, and they couldn't run it this year at all. And in the spring game, they were able to run the ball. And that was encouraging to me. That's a very positive sign. I, oh, I agree 100%. But I, like I said, I, like I said I'm, I'm kind of just temporary expectations for myself. But, you know, I get too, too high. But they, I, I do feel like they let, they did, with with all that in mind, they still gave you something that to be optimistic about in the fall without be, getting too high or too low. Um, I was going to say this about the baseball uh, loss this, this weekend. Maybe this uh, – could be a uh, a good time to get that loss, kind of get refocused with who we've got coming up uh, the next uh, the next few weeks. Maybe it was maybe this was maybe this was a good timing loss. Cause, I mean, you're not gonna go uh, you're not gonna be perfect through the through the season. So you know it's probably a good time to probably lose one as well as we've we've, we've been playing. Uh, yeah, you think it about it, Ryan. To, very rarely do you see a team, and it hasn't happened often, and Arkansas was one of those teams that won all 10 series a couple of years ago. That just doesn't happen in SEC baseball. Right. It is, it's just almost impossible to do. So not a big deal. No, it, it is not a big deal to go on the road to lose to Alabama. And as we said last week, Alabama had already beaten Tennessee in a series at home. They'd already beaten South Carolina in a series at home. Alabama is an NCAA tournament team, and in their mind, this was huge for them to, to increase their RPI and the, their uh, quality of schedule and get some quality wins. They want to host a tournament. They want to host a regional. And what this weekend did was give them that opportunity. If they keep playing well, they may be a top 16 seed. So no shame whatsoever in losing a series at Alabama. I do think if we meet them on a neutral field or uh, in, in Hoover, I think we'll beat them. I do believe that. Um, but that's my thoughts. I hope you'll have a great day and uh, go Hogs. Thanks, Ryan. 661 1037. If you want to jump in here and uh, 
join us today. Check the text line. Well, um, some NBA news. So the play-in games are set. Mm. And then um, you're thinking uh, OKC, Thunder. Mm -hmm. They're the number one seed in the West. The Celtics by far have the best record in the NBA. And then the NBA had a record 872 sellouts and 22.5 mil in attendance for the regular season. Set a new record. Oh, wow. Topping the old record from last year. So every year they're continuing with these record attendance numbers. And uh, the play-in, it starts tomorrow, goes through Friday. It's going to be really interesting this week going into the playoffs to see how everything shakes out. Did the Bucks get the two seed in the East? Bucks got the three seed. The Knicks got the two seed. Oh wow! Yeah, there there were a lot of close records. It came down to the end, where uh, came down to the very last day, and the Knicks had a one one game better than the Bucks. I was surprised the uh, Mavericks didn't even try to win this weekend. They they sat Luca. They were locked into their fifth seed though. Well, I th- if they had won both games, couldn't they have flipped with the Clippers they, and had home court advantage? I thought I thought the clip. Based on what happened the next, the last game, they were both locked in. So the last game, yesterday's game, it didn't right. matter. I knew that one didn't matter, but they, they didn't play anybody on Saturday either. Yeah. So I thought if they won Saturday, Clippers lost, Mavericks had a chance to get the home court advantage. Yeah, they play each other, so it doesn't matter. They didn't care. Hour three is next. We have great news. Generic Cialis is now available at a huge savings. We have Tadalafil, the FDA-approved generic of Cialis, in a 20-milligram tablet at a savings of up to 80%. We have the 5-milligram daily tablets for less than $3 a pill. Lion's Drug continues to be your go-to pharmacy for men's health. What are you waiting for? Call us today at 844-676-2247 or go to our website at lionsdrug.com. Tune in each week on Morning Mayhem as Bo Mattingly joins the guys and gives his behind-the-scenes look that he gets from his relationship with the University of Arkansas. Thanks to UAMS Health, the official orthopedics and sports medicine provider for Razorback Athletics. Spring is sprung, and that spells fun. Fun is in Arts Brain in North Little Rock. Arts has new 2024 G3 Tritunes. That's right, I said Tritunes in stock. And as always, don't forget Arts Marine is your John Boat headquarters. They're powered by Tuhatsu and Yamaha Outboards. Arts also has an excellent selection of the ever so popular G3 boats, models 22, 23, and 2024. Make your summer one to remember by stopping by Arts Marine in North Little Rock. Take the Levy exit. Where the hogs hit the hardwood. 1037 The Buzz. KABZ Little Rock. Little Rock. Buzz News with KARK's Claire Kreitz. One person is dead and at least nine others are hurt after a shooting at a block party in Wynn. It happened at a car wash on the corner of Williams Avenue and Martin Luther King Street. Arkansas State Police say of the nine people injured, two were run over by a car. ASP says no arrests have been made, but several persons of interest have been identified. RDOT has a new dashboard to help you see the state of roads across Arkansas. It shows how bridges and pavements are rated in accordance with Federal Highway Administration standards. It also gives status updates on construction projects as well as roadway safety data. Today is the last day you can file your taxes. So far, the IRS has reported over 100 million returns. Those who file electronically should expect the refunds within three weeks. With direct deposit, it'll be even sooner. The average refund this year has been around $3,000. This is Claire Kreitz for the Buzz Radio Network. Thompson Electric presents Jackson Wells each week in the zone with Justin and DJ. Thompson Electric since 1983, providing innovative electrical solutions for your business. To learn more, check them on the web at thompsonelectric.com or you can search Thompson Electric on Facebook and Instagram for more information. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with KARK's Juliana Cullen. Clouds will continue to increase as we move towards this afternoon, but it's still going to be a warm one out there today with temperatures topping out in the upper 70s and the lower 80s. We're dry for the remainder of your Monday late tonight. Maybe a few light showers and sprinkles possible, but a better chance for rain and storms on the way for your Tuesday afternoon. This is meteorologist Juliana Cullen with the Buzz Radio Network. 
buy one, get one free at the Rural Front Steakhouse. This Thursday night, we're going to have prime rib, 12 ounces of prime rib, served with all the mashed potatoes you can eat. Buy one, get one free. Oakwan Racing Casino Resort presents Oakwan Race Day with Justin Akery and David Wanginati every Saturday morning at 11. Oakwan Race Day is your inside track to America's hottest thoroughbred action and Arkansas source for racing news and analysis. Oakwan Race Day presented by Oakwan, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. Love off-roading? There's a 2024 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss at Guatney Chevrolet ready for a driver. It's got improved shocks and suspension, plus wheels made for the off-road. You can make it yours for as low as 61905 Call, click, or come visit Guatney Chevrolet to hear about our available rebates and we'll make you the boss of the trail. Come see us in Jacksonville or visit GuatneyChevrolet.com. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. It's Justin Aker from my good friends at Serta Pro Painters. And right here in central Arkansas, you can get exactly what you need from a painting standpoint, and you can get it from the folks you trust and believe in. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. And it comes with free estimates. You get great communication along the way and professional painting. There are certain things you should attempt on your own. In my opinion, painting is not one of them. Turn it over to the right folks at the right price. It's Serta Pro Painters online at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. When choosing a painting professional, the choice is simple. Choose happy. Choose Serta Pro Painters. Crawfish season is finally back at Eat My Catfish. We've got fresh, live crawfish, and all you have to do is just add the fixins. Be sure to come see us or order online at eatmycatfish.com. Eat local, eat fresh, eat my catfish. Arkansas broadcast legend Craig O'Neill joins Morning Mayhem each week presented by Petty Jean Meats, locally owned and operated for four generations. With Petty Jean Meats, people always know where their meat is coming from. Made right here in Arkansas. It's time to bring legendary Kubota reliability to your hayfield. Heavy-duty balers, disc mowers, disc mower conditioners, rakes, tedders, and wrappers to fit your specific crop and condition. Match them up with one of Kubota's ag tractors. The M7 line ranges in horsepower from 128 to 168 with premium hydraulics and multiple transmission options to finish any job. Henard Foothills Equipment, South Main Street in Searcy, your hometown Kubota dealer no matter where you live. 501-268-1980. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. See shelter agent Matt Warden in Little Rock, Seth Hobbs in Bryant, or Nick Gennardi in Sherwood. Fence Brokers presents Razorback Graffiti every Monday morning. Call Morning Mayhem and let them know how you feel about how they did. One sentence and one sentence only. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-6759. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-6759. That's 800-575-6759. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Live from the Signal Media Studios, this is Out of Bounds with Wes Moore and Joe Franklin on 1037 The Buzz. Welcome back. It is hour, Out of Bounds, hour number three, and we are live today at Burns Park. If you're just joining us, 
for the Buzz Golf Tournament. The Spring Golf Tournament will be back at it at Rebsman in the fall. So be sure to make your plans and join us at the golf course. Just like, what did I do, 30 and 16? That's 46 teams times 4, 24, 16, 184 golfers. How about that, Matt? Nice. Off the top of my head. Was it right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> J.J. <laughs> Shelton. Linebacker, just committed to the Razorbacks. High school kid out of Texas. Uh, I see Danny West tweeting it and a couple other the recruiting guys. Uh, and J.J. put it out there, 100% committed to uh, the Razorbacks. So they got a linebacker of the future uh, just a few minutes ago during the uh, top of the hour break. A lot of people talking about the portal, and that will be a, a big topic, I'm sure, this week as we find out more and more players uh, for not only the Razorbacks but for other teams that are ending up their spring practice. They'll be getting into the portal and finding a new home, and uh, hopefully the additions make up for the subtractions. And it, You get a better football team because of the portal, and uh, I think Arkansas has probably identified some areas of need during the spring practice maybe some guys stepped up in certain positions and they're like okay we're good here but some other guys may have not stepped up and they're like well, we got to get some some help here i thought man i was i was impressed with the offensive line you always have to take it with a grain of salt because you know they were playing against the number two defensive line during the spring game and so they they should dominate right you mm -hmm. know any number one offensive line should um, have their way with the second team, and that's what we saw. Uh, but I, from what I saw out of the offensive line, I was pleased with the progress that they've made on the offensive line. The worry is when you saw the number two offensive line going up against the number one defense, there wasn't a whole lot there. And you'd like to you, – you hope you can get a little bit of movement or, you know, some kind of positive yards. And at times there just – there wasn't much there at all. Did see uh well but see you know it's always two ways to look at that it's encouraging for the defense, defense yeah. to think that you know maybe this defense is showing how good they are but you want to see a little bit of balance and it's hard to gauge it from a spring game you never can tell if it's you know one side of the ball looking as good as they are or if the other side is not as good and making them look better I think they're uh, set on the, uh, well, it depends, running backs, if they have some defections. But, man, uh, I liked what I saw out of Big Braylon out of Bitten. He ran the ball, and he was physical. And and the uh, transfer from uh, Utah, Jaquindon Jackson, mm -hmm. dude, he can go. And he doesn't look as big in pads as he does in person. It's kind of weird to say because, you know, usually when you see a big running back like that, you're thinking this guy is going to, to be a monster. And, and maybe it's because we've seen Dominique Johnson and how big he looks at running back. He didn't look that big. Yeah. I mean, he, he's not small. Don't the get pads me wrong. have gotten smaller, too. Yeah. Uh, but I was surprised when I saw him run. I was like, oh, I thought he was bigger than that. <laughs> now, he runs powerful. Don't get me wrong. But I, and maybe I was just off of my perception and, and my mind, what I thought he was going to look like, you know, running the ball. Uh, but he, he, I liked I liked him a lot. He he can go, and they're going to be. Uh, that's a good portal addition for Arkansas. You think about that. Right now, starting quarterback, starting running back out of the portal. Uh, that's going to be different next year. It's going to make that backfield explosive, and and a lot of the the players, they talked about that. You know, just going through spring practice, and saying that it's going to be a dynamic duo yeah. in that backfield. Thinking about quarterback running back combination. The portal is good. I mean, I'm thinking about it now. Left tackle, center, right tackle were all in the portal from this year. But then the right guard was a portal addition last year, the previous year. Your wide receivers were all in the portal with Armstrong and Broden and Tesla. Um, Luke has is one of the few that they, you know, recruited. You know, there were a couple other running backs that got some time in there. Uh, but the, the portal has been really good for Arkansas and Pittman and that's been able to add to their depth and not only add depth, but to add starters. So if they keep that up, maybe they can go out and add to the team after spring football. Well, that, that's what the portal is for. Also, it's to fill needs where you want to get better, but also when you lose players at certain positions, because we're talking about quarterback running back combination from the portal. Well, quarterback running back got in the portal and had to be replaced. So, and, and these are, are good players we're talking about quality players that had been at Arkansas for a while but there was a hole that needed to be filled and they were able to do it through the portal that's what it does these days 
over the weekend, I uh, had my Bet Saracen app going, and we'll have it fired up for tomorrow with the uh, Arkansas-Texas Tech uh, games, Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm excited that we got Kyle Peterson in and Carl Ravitch, a nationally televised game against Texas Tech on uh, Tuesday night and then Wednesday afternoon on the SEC Network. Um, but, Joe, the under keeps – I'm going to keep hammering you guys. <laughs> you just keep hammering the under. I mean, whenever Hagen Smith is on a mound, no, that's the key. It, it hit Saturday and it hit Sunday. Well, but that's the one to always Ham- to hammer. Yes. But other ones, you want to take a look at it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Saturday, what what did it end up being? Four to three in extra innings, and then yesterday, five to nothing. So the under hit all three games over the weekend. Uh, that is a uh, man. It's been a very profitable. Hitting the under on the weekends for Arkansas and especially on Hagen Smith's games, um, although it didn't go down. But in, on Friday night, and it was a lower run total over under, but it still it was still able to hit on that. But that's a uh, very good bet on Bet Saracen. They hit my, uh, uh, you know, the odds weren't great, but I'll take it plus three fifty on uh, Scheffler. Uh, so I was able to salvage a little bit, still come out a, a winner. That's on plus my, money, it's though. It's plus money. Um, I, I put more on Scheffler because I knew I wouldn't win as much if he did win. So because it's only plus 350, but there were some other golfers that I bet on that was like plus a thousand, plus four thousand. But it's amazing. It doesn't matter that, if they don't win. You don't win. Perspective anything. changes though because you're saying only 350, but when it comes to the double R prop bets, yeah. when it's 350, that's probably some of the best odds you could get. No doubt. And it's like we were talking with horse racing with Steph and Elmore a little earlier. When you have a horse that's the favorite and it's three and a half to one, you're like, whoa, that's great odds. And usually that's not much of a favorite in horse racing. If you can get the favorite at three and a half to one, you have a really good feeling that he's going to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you hammer that. That's You would love your favorite to go off at that. But that just shows you, I guess, how difficult with golf and that many golfers that drives up the price and it makes it a uh, you know a bit more profitable if you do you do get it right. But it was well worth it for Scotty Scheffler though for him to come through in the way that he did. And like we said, a lot of times it doesn't happen like that. You have favorites going into every tournament, but there's a big field of golfers. So it's like, are you always going to ride the favorite or are you going to take the field? It probably would work better for you to take the field every time. Yeah. And congratulations to Cole. He was the winner of our Arkansas Golf Center contest. Uh, won a Callaway driver and a driver fitting from Arkansas Golf Center there in Conway. He, he'll be uh, heading up to Conway soon to get a new driver and a uh, fitting. Uh, to maybe, maybe he'll be playing with us in the fall at the uh, Buzz Golf Tournament with that new driver. Need to see what his old driver is. Maybe he wants to get rid of it. Get a good <laughs> deal on an old driver. May not be that old, but now he's got a brand new driver. Yeah. You, you get something free, and then you can possibly turn the old one and, and get some money and get a profit. So mm-hmm. it's a win-win there. Uh, over on the text line from the 501, so is Arkansas now going to be a seen as a basketball school, baseball school? I don't think we're going to dominate in the SEC in football. I hope I'm wrong, but spending seven-plus million dollars on a basketball coach, almost twice the money the football coach is making, speaks loudly. It does make you a basketball school at that point. Mm-hmm. But now some of the billionaires in Arkansas are turning loose of their money. Might open up uh, some of the purses for the football program. Thanks. Listen all the time. That's from Brian and Bitten. Thanks, Brian. And that was some of the discussion. Uh, I know Hunter mentioned it. Uh, they feel like this is going to help the football program, and this is going to uh, get some of these uh, big money boosters involved in the program. And you might see that spill over into football. And I think more than anything, the interest in Arkansas sports goes up, and that's going to help the Arkansas edge. And I think it's a win-win for both programs. Now, of course, this some of that money that they were talking about that had uh, been brought in by Tyson and Stevens, that this is uh, for the basketball program right now. But the hope is, and they felt like with the conversations that they had with these people, that it was going to also go to other sports too. There would be some more money coming for other sports. Let's put Arkansas on the radar nationally if, they weren't already, you know, opening some eyes to some people that maybe didn't know much about Arkansas. But now nationally, Arkansas is on the radar and big time story for everybody out there because of John Calipari. And that does open doors for other sports and and just putting people on notice as to this is a place that you have a big time coach and and a place that they expect to win. 
And I think that's what everyone's eagerly anticipating now, the players that follow. And that's just going to keep this train going. You know, it's going to create, keep that excitement going. Nationally, people talking about Arkansas, putting them on that front burner when you get some of these marquee players, these McDonald's All-Americans, some of these guys in the transfer portal coming to play for Calipari at Arkansas. That's just going to get, you know, keep the excitement going. And it's a little lull right now that we're experiencing, and everyone's like, come on, when's it going to happen? Who's going to be first? When's, you know, the Alabama broadcasters over the weekend, when Hagen Smith, for the first five innings, <laughs> had not given up a hit. Uh, yeah, that you know what? That's that's about halfway Did into you know the, that? Did you? Yeah, you yeah, watch yeah. It? Yeah, but that's halfway into the game. You got a long way to go. I had people hit me up on Hitter <laughs> on Twitter going, Wes, dude. I was about to pick you up and take you to the casino if he threw a no hitter. First uh, Calipari, and then this. If you're, if you were, if they were like, if you call a no hitter, you got something going on. You, you're like looking into the future and picking these things out. I'm watching that game, and I, I wasn't gonna say anything. I wasn't gonna tweet anything. But I was just like, okay, it's been five innings. Do I text Joe now? <laughs> I was like, no, I, and I said to myself, no, nah, I'm gonna wait. If yeah. it gets to six innings. I'll text Joe just, hey, just letting you know, you may want to tune into the game. We got a no hitter through six, but uh, that was pretty cool. No hitters, uh, no hitter through five. I, I lost my train of thought. I don't even know where I was going. That, with that's that story, funny, though. He, uh, he, I mean, dude, he is. He's just that special. Mm-hmm. I mean, his stuff is so good. He left a, a slider up one time, and they, they got the base hit and got a couple hits on him. But man, he just, you see that bulldog in him, man. He just, it almost ticks him off that somebody's on base and in scoring position, and he just bears down and gets even sharper and better. And, you know, you got to keep that in perspective as a fan when your team has runners on base and in scoring position. You're like, they got to score these guys. You got to get them in. You've, you've got this opportunity. Easier said than done. You got to consider that. That other guy on the mound's a competitor. Yeah. And he does just like Hagen does. He bears down, gets a little sharper, and, you know, he just focuses in a little bit more and gets out of that jam that's i mean it's sec baseball these all all of these guys are competitors and uh but you you take it uh, you know it's granted when you're watching there's that guy on third one out you're like you got to get him in you got to score this run that dude on the mound he's, he's trying to shut it down he is he's doing everything he can just like uh hagan was doing the other night six six one one oh three seven uh if you want to jump in here six six one one oh three seven y'all want to talk about the ufc the mma fights the other night dude that was fun i am um i'm not a big fan I, I didn't even know who was fighting i didn't all i knew was you had mentioned something and i knew it was 300 and mm-hmm. you know the th- number 300 and so because of the round number i was like oh this must be a big thing and a buddy of mine called and was like hey i want to watch the fights you you want to come over and watch them after the razorback game and i'm like yeah sure let's do it and so that's what we did and i had a blast it was Quality fight after quality fight after quality fight. It was it was entertaining, and that's the way they intended it to be. Being three hundred, they wanted to have great fights throughout the night, which they turned out to be. And and some of them, some of the three rounders, they could have been five round fights. Now five rounds, that's uh, dedicated to championship fights. But you wanted to see some of these fights keep going on. Now Max Holloway and Justin Gaethje. The way that Max Holloway was able, and he's somebody that is smaller in weight, so they were fighting at a catch weight, 156. And um, just the way that he was able to still control the action, and he went into that fight an underdog. So if you had Max Holloway, according to Beth Saracen, you came out on the good side with that. But he had the fight won, and in that fifth round, at the end, He's pointing to the center of the octagon and saying, come on, something that he didn't need because he had to fight yeah, one. Yeah. And he's calling for Justin Gaethje to come exchange, and they get into an exchange, and he knocks him out with one second left in the fight. That was incredible. And, and, and when it happened, I was thinking, what is he doing? You know, because he had to fight one. And I'm like, you're taking a, a huge risk here of getting knocked out. But I guess he was so confident, and maybe he knew Gaethje was just so – worn out that even if he connected with one he wouldn't have enough power nah, to knock him out i don't know if he knew that but he why he, would you he take just, that risk he just wanted he wanted to show the heart the drive that he has and the level that he feels like he's on 
he showcased it there. And then, of course, at the end of the fight, he's calling for that bonus. He's trying to get yeah. that three hundred thousand dollar bonus, okay. which is 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 top now. It at one time fighters were getting fifty thousand dollar bonuses, and they've upped the ante to three hundred. So that's what he was wanting. He was one that that bonus where it turned out to be the best fight of the night. He called it out afterwards too. He, yeah. said he, he wanted that bonus. He, he deserved it, and he did. I don't know. I never saw who got it, but dude, that was a heck of a shot and just knocked him. A Gaethje just crumpled to the ground, just out. Just just the way he fell. You you're like that dude is out. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, and it was no doubt that it was over just because time was going down on the clock, but. To lay it all on the line and, and to end the fight like that, it was perfect. Yeah, and you go back and they're showing the replay with the time clock on there, and you can see the time ticking off three, two, bam, one. He's out. Fight's over. The fight is over. That was that was dramatic, a flair for the dramatics right there. Did you happen to see Kayla Harrison and Holly Holm? Did you I, see that one? They were on the pre-fight card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, we uh, we got to the pre-fight card and saw the last fight or two before it went over to paper. Okay, so I only saw a couple of those. Yeah, um, Holly Holm is somebody. She carries a big name because she beat Ronda Rousey at one time when Ronda Rousey looked unbeatable. But Holly Holm has struggled here in, in recent years because of her big name. You're able to make a fight like this. Kayla Harrison was making her her ufc debut but she fought in pfl and you know did another form of mma but she's somebody who's at the top of her game and uh, she she showed it even more where she was able to to submit holly Holm and end the fight who was kyler murray with who's his I girlfriend i didn't see kyler murray it, it, it she's a fighter yeah Okay. Because they showed her and said, oh, so-and-so is here, and they were sitting on the first round. Because they showed so and many people like, throughout. Wait, is that – that's Kyler Murray next to her. Yeah, they showed so many people throughout the uh, – And then uh, later fights. on he tweeted out, my girlfriend can beat up your girlfriend or something like that's that. That's funny. But, yeah, they were sitting there. Oh, the he's row. with Valentina Shevchenko. Wow. And she's really good. Yeah. It, it was almost surprising that she wasn't on this card, but she just fought not too long ago. Mm. Yeah, yeah, she's she's really good. Yeah, that caught us off guard when, when they showed them on, on the uh, front row there and was said something about her, how she was in attendance. But she's she was a champion for a long time. Over on the uh, text line, uh, this one in the five hundred one says, "I know this is completely off topic, but do you guys know anything about Austin Ledbetter?" No. No, I mean, just going through practices, going through uh, the, the drills. And I'll be honest with you, I did, I did not sit through the entire game. I'm going to try to do that tonight. Uh, but I got most of the first half in, which was the, the starters and the second team. Uh, but I, I was, I want to see the third team, four team guys, and see how they looked. And I don't even know if Austin got in. So I haven't made it that far. But hopefully tonight I can watch it and give you a little report on it. But. Did you happen to see a breakdown of um... – I know a lot of times they don't even keep stats, but sometimes they do, and you can see how many plays were run and those types of things. Were you able to see a breakdown on that? Some, some, no, I, well, I did, but I've, I've had a drink since then. I've already forgotten it. But uh, some of the uh, media guys that were in the, had their unofficial stats, and I think the university put out an uno, uh, some of, uh, official stats. Um, but I don't have that pulled up in front of me. But I know uh, Green looked good, had a high percentage of completions. Had a couple of touchdowns, looked good. And he looked like you're, what your starting quarterback you want your starting quarterback to look like in a spring game. So that was very encouraging. And the, like I said, too, they ran the ball well. Jaquindon Jackson ran the ball well. Um, and uh, Dominion, I think I saw Dominion in there with a good play. And then, like I said, Braylon Russell out of Bitten had a nice uh, total when it was all said and done. But I did not see any of his carries. He's that's somebody honestly, that looks the part. Yes, that's honestly the whole reason why I want to go back and watch it, just to see his runs. Uh, Cole in Poland uh, said, said he uh, watched it, got a uh, – Ledbetter got a series or two at the end of the second half. Ran, scrambled uh, more than he threw. Not sure if he completed a pass. Uh, what string is Braylon Russell on? I would guess – you know, it's hard with the running backs because they rotate those guys. Uh, you know, they'll rotate two or three of them with the first team. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's, 
I would say probably he's running, if you put him in order, fourth. I would say to Quinton Jackson, to Binion, uh, Augustav, and then Russell, and then Dominique Johnson. I mean, they've been well, it's pretty well, deep. Augusta is, is rumored to be in the portal. Yeah, so that means that he's <laughs> moving he's up. Move up, moving on up. Sam Pittman is making six point two million. Yeah, That's, yeah. He's making six point two. Yes. Oh yeah. Are we sure about that? Yes. Six point two. Yes. I didn't realize that. Yeah, because um, you know the buyout was the big story. Yeah. At the end of football season, where it was like Sam Pittman is going to return, and. Um, that's kind of where everybody was. Every everybody at that point, there was no excitement. And then when Bobby Petrino was hired as OC, mm-hmm. that kind of brought some excitement back to the program. Yeah, six point two million dollars right there. All right. Well, thanks for that correction. No. So he's barely making more. <laughs> I don't know about barely, but yeah, seven mil, and then he had a, a one million dollar signing bonus. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Thanks, Eric Musselman. Uh, Cole said he didn't watch it. He listened to it. You know, I did that too. I was when I was outside. It was just cool to hear Chuck on the radio and, and doing some football. It just brings back the great memories of fall. You know, you're like, all right, here we go. Fall football. Chuck's on the radio. Just seems natural. Got to hear a little bit of that too while I was working. All right, we'll take a break. There's the music. Bottom of the hour. Wow, this day's flying by. Just 30 more minutes to go. We'll take some phone calls if you want to jump in here, talk about the weekend, some of the things that you saw. 661-1037. 661-1037. We still got to do what's trending. And we'll wrap it up and get ready for uh, Double R in Drive Time Sports. Stick around. It's out of bounds. Fence Brokers presents Razorback Graffiti every Monday morning. Call Morning Mayhem and let them know how you feel about how they did. One sentence and one sentence only. This is Sports Center. It was a second green jacket for the world's number one as Scotty Scheffler won his second Masters in three years yesterday. He shot an 11 under for the weekend. He closed out the tournament with a four under 68. That put him four shots ahead of Sweden's Ludwig Alber. He also topped Max Homa, Colin Morikawa, and Tommy Fleetwood, who closed out the top five. This is Scheffler's ninth professional win in the last 26 months. He's won the Arnold Palmer twice, the Players' Championship twice, and now he's won at Augusta twice. And in NASCAR, Chase Elliott found his way to victory lane yesterday at the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400 at Texas Motor Speedway. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. There are no ordinary days in Arkansas. Hike to inspiring summits, bike on world-class trails, or fish in sparkling waters. Or see some of the world's top art collections and explore historic sites dedicated to everything from civil rights to rock and roll. After that, eat some award-winning barbecue and sip a local craft beer. So go on, get out there, and explore what the natural state has to offer. Find out more at Arkansas.com. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? (laughs) With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. See shelter agent Dan Cook in North Little Rock, Becky Bradley in Sherwood, or Angie Collins in Heber Springs today. Are you ready for a better forklift experience? River Valley Tractor and Castle Forklift have teamed up to manage your material handling needs. From diesel, lithium, propane, and so much more, Castle's product line is versatile, ready for the next generation of consumers to make every job easier. Step into the future of forklift innovation. Choose Castle. Visit River Valley Tractor, your authorized Castle forklift dealers in Central Arkansas. If you are looking for a safe and loving home for you or your loved one, visit Heartland Rehabilitation and Care Center. Just 15 minutes from Little Rock in Benton, our skilled nursing staff is dedicated to providing quality long-term care and short-term therapy. Visit heartlandrehabcenter.com. 
you can call Heartland home. Political strategist and host of the Sunday Buzz, Bill Vickery, gets in the mix with the guys on Morning Mayhem, brought to you by Sauce Bar and Oven. Online at SauceLR.com and by the Butcher Shop Steakhouse, home of the best steak and prime rib in all of Little Rock. It's Justin Aker for Serta Pro Painters, and if you're like me, this time of the year, I'm spending a lot of time at the house watching basketball games and baseball games, and then I also start looking around the house and noticing some paint on the wall might have cracked, or you might see some scuffs on the wall, and you want to get that updated. If that's the case at your house, you need to get Serta Pro Painters on the case today. SertaPro.com, that's Serta with a C. All you have to do is go to their website, and they will come over, give you a free estimate, and you can trust them to get the job done right because they take pride in what they do. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. When it comes to choosing a painting professional, the choice is simple. Choose happy. Choose Serta Pro Painters. It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The lotto jackpot is now more than $1.5 million. And the best part? The winning ticket can only be sold in Arkansas. Maybe today. Maybe even to you. Can you imagine? There's a jackpot drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night. So your next chance to win is coming up very soon. Try lotto today for only 2 bucks per play. Call 1-800-522-4700 for Problem Gambling Helpline. Do you need rainwater Holton Sexton? Anywhere in the state, dial 8 888 It really is just that easy. If you've been injured and need help, it doesn't matter where in Arkansas you are. Just dial 8 888 We'll come to you. I'm Mike Rainwater of Rainwater Holton Sexton. We have been thankfully serving Arkansans for years, and we appreciate the trust you've put in us. We work hard for you, Arkansas, each and every day. Anywhere in the state, dial eight. <laughs> Weekend recap brought to you by Fleet Management Services, serving Central Arkansas for over 20 years. They're your small to mid sized specialist. When you need someone to service your fleet and get your employees back on the road quick, call 501 501- 375-3672. Feels like the weekend just keeps on going, for me at least. Got a little golf in this morning, and I'm actually off from TV tonight. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, after uh, remember I was on that stretch where I worked 12 straight days, and so I got a couple comp days, so I took the day off. And this is it. I'm, I'm, I'm like you, Joe. I'm walking out the door at 4 o'clock. <laughs> I'm done. So <laughs> I'm a... I'm kind of excited. Do the same on Friday, so a short work week for me. It's tax day. Got the taxes taken care of, so you got them taken care of yeah. as of today. Yeah, my CPA sent everything in. So. Okay, all right. Yeah, uh, yeah. There are a lot of people that do that at the last minute, man. But it's like you got four months to get that in. But yeah, there are a lot of people that do that. Uh, wait till the last minute. I don't want to have to pay it. Uh, I'm just last thing I want to do. <laughs> you never know. You may be getting something in return. You may get something back. I wish. Uh, yeah, I was looking for some stats. I, I thought maybe the uh, university had them on there somewhere, but I don't see anything. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll keep looking. Biggest thing from the weekend. What did uh, you enjoy the most this weekend? Uh, well, it was only one thing that I really paid a lot of attention to, and that was UFC 300. But just seeing how – the uh the nba how the seating worked out with all the close records the play-in games are set now um even tonight wnba draft is going on so that that's something to look forward to of course that's not from the weekend but it takes us out of the weekend gets our week started but um yeah several things going on conor mcgregor it was announced that he's going to make a comeback at ufc 303 so this was 300. He'll be back for 303, which will be in June. Is that the one in Brazil or something? Is that what they were saying? Uh, I don't know if that's in Brazil, but he's going to be facing Michael Chandler. I think the next one is in Brazil. Gotcha. Um, I The Masters was awesome. I was glued to the TV Saturday and Sunday. Even when Scheffler, it was obvious that he was, he was going to win it. Um, it was just fun to watch him, the quality of golf that he was playing, just uh, brilliant golf. I mean, sure, it helped that I had <laughs> put a little wager on him to win the Masters, but um, by then I, I had a pretty good feel that he was going to win this thing up three shots. Not a whole lot of drama, but still fun uh, fun to watch. 
and the Diamond Hogs over the weekend. It was uh, it was disappointing, and there's no other way to put it. Uh, to have that dramatic home run in the ninth inning to tie it up, and, you know, I'm just thinking, wow, they're going to do it again. They're about to win another series and get this done in extra innings, and just uh, have a. I mean, just a simple comebacker to the pitcher, and he bobbles it and slips and panics a little bit and goes to throw it to first base and throws it almost into the stands. And you're just like, man. And he, you hate it for the young man. And you know it's a learning experience. And hopefully the next time he's on the mound, that situation happens. He'll relax a little bit and just to make uh, take his time and make a good throw to first base and try to get out of the jam and then to come back on Sunday. And Alabama's pitcher, man, it was – yeah, his first uh, SEC start, and they've been having all kinds of problems with their Sunday starter and just trying different guys. And they put in a guy, and you're hoping ah, maybe they can hit this guy around and score a bunch of runs. And, dude, he goes five. Then back out there in the sixth, back out there in the seventh, back out there in the eighth. And th- they were hoping probably to get five innings out of the guy. And they get eight shutout innings. And he just he, he was just on and pitched a great game and sometimes that happens in the game of baseball. Great pitching will will, will be will be the team and that's what happened uh, yesterday with the Diamond Hogs. So they're playing confident at home and sometimes you're going to run in the teams yeah, that are playing point. really good at home and that was what happened this weekend. And now not only do you have a couple of games against Tech for midweek, it's back on the road against South Carolina. So they have to move you know just turn the page forward and and try to just keep getting better as they go on you were asking about braylon russell and somebody was just asking about braylon he just uh, sent this tweet out and it's a video of his uh, touchdown run uh in the scrimmage the other day it's a big back isn't it but yeah he is. he's got some good hips and uh, can move those feet and broke through the hole almost got tripped up kept his feet and went in for the touchdown but uh Bra- at braylon russell he just tweeted out that video He's got a future for the Razorbacks. I'm so, I was so glad they ended up getting him. Uh, of course, being a hometown hog, that always helps a little bit too. Uh, we need to do what's trending. Can we pull that up and uh, play that off the segments page and uh, take a look at what's trending? What's Trending in Sports is brought to you by Arkansas's own West Rock Coffee. Join West Rock Coffee, the Razorbacks, and their 1.5 million farmers around the globe. It's fall, so now it's time for your team to stock up on coffee, tea, and water delivered directly to your business. Contact them at westrockcoffee.com or 833-886-JAVA today. Joe, one of the things that's trending, you literally just mentioned I looked on Twitter to see what's trending. Hashtag State Farm W Draft. Oh, yeah. WNBA Draft tonight. Yep, and as expected, Caitlin Clark will be the number one overall pick going to the Indiana Fever. And then from there, you're just going to you'll, – you'll see a host of names of some of the big-time players that you know, but um, it kind of opens up where, you know, there's some unknown after that pretty much. The uh, Kentucky Derby is right around the corner, and uh, one of the horses that ran at Arkansas that we've talked to his owner, Mystic Dan. Mystic Dan is there at Churchill, and I uh, got to see a little story with Lance Gassaway um, over the weekend. He's excited and plans to be there, and uh, good luck to them. they got another uh, the first Saturday in May, so another, what, 11 days, 12 days until the Kentucky Derby? I guess a little bit further than that, but... Um, you're seeing a lot of these horses arrive and running and breezing at the uh, Churchill Downs, and that's one of the things I just saw trending. One of the horses had a good time this morning. Mark the Magician. He's he's going to run his horse here soon. That's Friday. Yeah. Uh, Mal- Summer in Malibu. Yes. Yep. That's it. But, yeah, Kentucky Derby, it's always an exciting time. Um, you know, that's where Triple Crown starts with the Kentucky Derby. Then you have the Preakness and Belmont. So the horse that wins the Kentucky Derby is the horse that has the chance to get the Triple Crown. No other horse can do it for that season. Got to get it started. Uh, one other horse racing note, and I was going to mention this earlier, but Matt Dennerman, the uh, track announcer at Oakland, tweeted this out earlier today. They have 32 races at Oakland this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's three days of full cards, 341 entries. 
meaning you're going to have full races, averages out to about 11 horses a race at Oakland. That's huge numbers. Yeah, it is. For a weekend. And that's, you know, when you're betting on a horse, more horses in the race, that drives the odds up a little bit and you get a little money, a little meat to the bone. Kudos to Oakland. Grayson Allen has signed an extension with the Phoenix Suns. It's four years, 70 mil. So Grayson Allen is somebody who's kind of bounced around throughout a few teams and he's a guy that is a good shooter and you're always going to see good shooters move around but now he's locked in four-year contract you got an extension with the phoenix sun so 17 and a half million dollars a year yeah yeah that's big time sons where are they in the playoffs six seed six seed. they are the six and let's see they're going to be taking on the timberwolves in the first round and the play-in games all get started tomorrow night. Yes. Or one conference does tomorrow night, and then the other conference does the next night on mm-hmm. Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And then the playoffs start when? Playoffs start Saturday. Okay. So you have a play-in that is going to take place Tuesday through Friday, and then we'll see playoff games start on Saturday. What do you think of the matchup for the Clippers and the Mavericks? Mavericks, they get a good draw with the Clippers? I don't know about a good draw. I think it's a good draw on both sides of it where – you could see either one of those teams advancing on. That's what makes it so tough, especially when you get to that 4-5 or five matchup. Mm-hmm. The winner of that series could go on to do some good things, even though they're going to be matched up most likely against the one seed in the next round. But from the 4-5 or five seed, they could, they could win a couple of rounds and possibly get to the conference finals hopefully christian weaver's not listening but is it wrong for me to be happy that they're playing oklahoma city after they beat the clippers instead of instead of the nuggets yeah okay that's what i was kind of thinking but think about this also if the lakers advance on through the Uh play-in if they win tomorrow night Mm -hmm. they'll match up against the nuggets in the first round as the seven seed as the seven seed seven against two oh I mean, and the Nuggets had their way with the Lakers last year. And you know, that's one of the things about the play-in game. You would, I would think, I'm not an expert. I would think you would rather have Oklahoma City in the first round than Denver. So, right? so are you saying lose the first but game you can't. and win the next one? Yeah, no. you can't gamble that because of the play-in. Right. And say, oh, we really want to be the eight. Let's lose this game and take that chance that you lose the next game and then you're out of the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, it, it probably would work out better for them. Not only. Because you're talking about matching up against the defending champs, but OKC is a young, young team. team. Lack of playoff experience. Exactly. And so, I mean, they have plenty of talent, but when you match up the Lakers against a young team like that, even if it's the Timberwolves, who's a younger team, mm-hmm. advances Lakers. They have a lot of experience. Well, this is the time of the year where I still really start focusing in on the NBA. I'm not much of an NBA guy during the regular season, during those 82 games. But it's a long season. Once the playoffs start, I start paying a lot more attention. I started playing, really paying more attention to the Mavericks earlier this season uh, than I have in the past, mainly because of Gafford and, you know, some of the games that he had. He had another one of those games <laughs> last week where he was like, oh, he had a career high uh, in points, tied a career high. I think he was like 14 to 14 or 13 to 13 from the field, made a couple of free throws. Had like 28 points, and it was just incredible. I guess he ended up leading the league in field goal percentage. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But, I mean, with the way he was shooting the ball towards the end of the shooting? season. Yeah, absolutely. Shooting or dunking? Well, you know, yeah, <laughs> making baskets, field goals. Yeah. He was getting field goals. Yeah, he was he was <laughs> catching those alley-oops and throwing them down yeah. or getting an offensive rebound and dunking it back. High percentage. High percentage. That's why he shot over 70%. Pretty incredible. All right, we'll wrap it up. When we come back, we'll take our last break of the day. We'll get set for Randy Rainwater and Drive Time Sports, see what's going on with those guys. Randy played this morning. Did he really? Randy and and his son, Jarrett. Yeah, they played this morning. I did not see them this morning. I thought I uh, pretty much saw everybody this morning. Huh. I wonder if they're the ones who pencil whipped us and shot that <laughs> 52, 20 under par. Well, we can always go check it out on the board. Go check that scoreboard real quick. All right, stick around. It's out of bounds. This is the Pigskin Preacher. 
bringing you the word. The SEC loves to stick out its chest and brag. It just means more, which is debatable. What is not debatable is that hockey just means more to Canada than it does to the United States. And yet the National Hockey League has not had a team from the Great White North win the Stanley Cup since the Montreal Canadiens in 1993. Meanwhile, our long-suffering neighbors to the north have suffered through champions from hockey hotbeds such as Tampa Bay, Carolina, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Anaheim. Ugh. Imagine Greg Sankey living in a world where Wolverines from Michigan are the kings of football. Unthinkable. Double Bs are the kings of convenience, with 34 locations across Arkansas to serve you. Come on in and you'll be greeted with a warm welcome to Double Bees, even if you're a Canadian. Double Bees, it's where you gas it, grab it and go. That's Double Bees. It's Justin Ankery with Laura Beth from Coffin by Design West, getting you ready for spring. And Laura Beth, let's start with some of the outside options that Coffin by Design West provides for folks who are trying to spruce up their homes this time of the year. We carry a large selection of in-stock steel products, which include leaf blowers, weed eaters, and lawnmowers. As far as sprucing up the house for spring cleaning, you have a lot of other options there as well. We have storage totes, power washers, flower bed tools, planters, fertilizers, all your lawn care needs. It's Coffin by Design West, out west past Taylor Loop, 14900 Cantor Road, Monday through Saturday. Saturday online at KaufmanLumber.com. Willie D's Rock and Roll Piano Bar open every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Cold drinks and dueling pianos. Deep nightclub downstairs hosts karaoke on Tuesdays, and DJ spin on Friday and Saturday nights. Visit WillieD'sPianoBar.com. Cobra Commander, I figured out when to attack G.I. Joe. What's your new idea, Destro? We attack Saturday at 9 a.m. They'll all be listening to Guatney Unplugged at 1037 The Buzz. Excellent. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hey, everybody, it's RJ Hawk. You know I've been talking about this for a long time, and I say the future's here. You just haven't tried it yet. If you've got achy joints that have been nagging you for a long time, don't go to a doctor and have them recommend surgery or drugs. Go by and give QC Kinetics a try today for a free consultation. They are the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. It's called regenerative medicine. If your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love you need to call qc kinetics now we're talking natural biologics using your own body's power to repair and restore your damaged tissue qc kinetics is under the leadership of national medical director dr mitchell shine cup he is a pioneer in the field with 20 years of clinical work tons of research teaching and publishing call qc kinetics now to learn about these exciting options it's a free consultation 501-222-8440 501-222-8440 that's 501-222 8440. It's Pat Bradley for Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union, where their customers are always number one. Speaking about numbers, 6% APY is still available at Alcoa. Earn up to 6% interest on your checking account balances for doing the things you already do, like using your debit card and direct deposit. You can also get your ATM fees waived. Apply today for your free Casasa checking account and earn up to 6% APY at alcoacommunityfcu.org. Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union, serving Celine, Grant, Garland, Hot Spring, and Perry Counties. For over 30 years, Pickup Truck Accessory Warehouse on 65th and University has been Arkansas's truck accessory headquarters and the only stop for all your truck parts and accessories. If it goes on a truck, Pickup Truck Accessory Warehouse has it, like step bars, bed covers, toolboxes, and ladder racks, as well as gooseneck, fifth wheel hitches, and drop hitches. All this and more can be found at Pickup Truck Accessory Warehouse, a WeatherTech Diamond dealer, 501 568 or online at ArkansasTruck.com and ask about the all-new RSI SmartCap. Glad you're with us as we wrap it up on this Monday out of Burns Park for the Buzz Golf Tournament. Saw this, uh, some breaking news from Arkansas Football Scoop. 
Star City head coach Chris Vereen will be hired as the new head football coach at Ryzen, pending board approval, sources tell Arkansas High School Football Scoop. Coach Vereen, man, he's a, he's a good guy. I, I first got to know him when he was at Hot Springs, left Hot Springs, and he's been Star City now for a while and uh, heading over to Ryzen. That, he's, a, he's one of the good guys. I enjoy always talking with him. Bet Saracen has a uh, prop bet out. Which team do you think will draft Bronny James? You see that? Uh, it has to be Lakers with an <laughs> odds-on favorite. No doubt. Because 300. whichever team drafts Bronny has a great chance of getting LeBron's services. So what's and LeBron's so, contract status? Uh, he can he can opt out. So if if the Lakers draft Bronny, then, of course, now LeBron, maybe he decides to stay along. Who would have that kind of money? to pay him under their contract the salary to uh, get a LeBron on their team. Could anybody do that? Uh, yeah, there, there are a few teams. Yeah, there are a few teams that would be able to do it. Um, that's how it always works out. It's like, you know, when you think about taking on a player. But but LeBron isn't somebody who's going to make the most money out there. He's going to make he's gonna make good money, mm-hmm. but he's not going to make like Anthony Davis is making over 60 mil, Dame Lillard. You know, at his age, they know that he's only going to play a few more years, so he's not going to have that annual, that average per year that's going to be at the top of the roster. Uh, Next on the list behind the Lakers, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, Absolutely, yes. But I don't see how that would work simply because he's done it not once but twice with Dan Gilbert, and uh, he and Dan Gilbert don't really see eye to eye. Now, of course, Dan Gilbert being the businessman that he is, that'd be a great move on his part. Um, and maybe they could put some differences behind him to make that all work. But uh, it just seems like that's a chapter that's been closed. And, you know, but LeBron has always said this would be interesting. He said that uh, if the, and, and they're a young team and they're better now, the Orlando Magic. Hmm. He said if, if he was ever – to waive his no trade clause and he got traded there he said he would retire he said he he never would want to play for the magic because he just doesn't think that it's a well-run organization Ah. and that they never give him a chance to win but now with that young core that they have they're a better team they're the the five seed in the east yeah they're going to be matched up against the Cavs in the first round next on the list after the cleveland cavaliers is it's a tie between miami in Chicago. <laughs> now, would that be weird to see LeBron James in the Chicago Bulls uniform or what? It would. It, it definitely would. And he would definitely be wearing number six <laughs> because 23 is retired. And LeBron, he wouldn't have a problem with that just because throughout his career, he's gone back and forth 23-6, 23-6. So he's 23 currently. And he was willing when the Lakers took Anthony Davis, when they traded for him, he couldn't change his number right then, but that second season, he tried to change his number to six because he was going to let Anthony Davis have 23. That was his original number, and then they wouldn't let him do it for some reason. Hmm. So he ended up being stuck say, being stuck with, but he ended up still being 23, and Anthony Davis took number three. But LeBron was willing to give up 23 for Anthony Davis when he came into the Lakers. Yeah, it was also weird to see the Mavericks up there high on that list of Bet Saracen odds. Mark Cuban being one of those owners that he gives the team every and anything they could possibly want. They don't have any needs. Uh, and it's amazing that they don't get more quality free yeah. agents there because of all the amenities that he gives to the players. They say that if you go into their facilities, it's some of the best throughout the entire NBA just because – Mark Cuban being the guy that came from, you know, he's always been a businessman, but he was a fan of the team and or a fan of the sport. Yeah. And then he bought the team. And he takes care of them. And it's always – I always thought he would be able to attract some high-type uh, free agents, and it just never has really happened. They got Kyrie, though. That was a trade. Yeah, but, but still. They you, re-signed yeah, him. Yeah, they were able to re-sign him. I don't know how much – competition they had on resigning him 
A lot of people were critical of the contract saying you were bidding against yourself. Well, the the Lakers, that was one spot that he talked about because of reuniting Kyrie and LeBron. Mm-hmm. And Kyrie even, I, I know he was jokingly saying it, but he said, I'm trying to recruit LeBron to come here. Yeah. I don't want to go there. We're trying to build something here, so – we're trying to recruit LeBron to come to Dallas and, Maybe and play for the Mavs. That relationship is what has the Mavericks' odds up there a little higher than everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, maybe so. But, you know, if you draft Bronny, your your chances increase. That's what it's all about at this point. So would that happen first or second? Oh, draft Bronny first and then and LeBron. Then would yeah. follow? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was just scrolling through, making sure we hadn't missed anything else. I did see that over the weekend, Lipscomb transfer. Cody Head, a point guard, has committed to Arkansas State. So they got a point guard for the future to nice. replace Caleb Fields. And I know that was a big uh, void on the team, and Caleb Fields meant so much to the team. But they went out and got a, a good point guard from uh, from the portal. Nobody on hold, so we don't have to do that. And Joe and Conway, what are the betting odds for Bronny to go undrafted? We need to look at that on Bet Bet Saracen. You think that's even a possibility? That he goes undrafted? Yes. I don't think so. You think of all these teams with these second-round picks, and somebody will take a chance just for exactly what we're talking about for him to. And here's the thing. Bronny is going to be a better NBA player than he was a college player. Even if you're talking about he's a guy that comes off the bench, Maybe he could play a six-man role at some point. He's going to be a better NBA player than he was in college because he was, you know, coming off a medical issue, first of all, Mm -hmm. where it was amazing that he was able to get back on the court as soon as he did, and then he was playing in spot duty. They didn't want him to overdo anything. So he'll be better on the next level. He's never going to get the credit he deserves to be the player that he is just because they're going to say, oh, he's gotten to where he is because he's LeBron's son. Yep. Music's playing. That means time for us to roll. Fantastic day. I'm looking at the golfers out there as they finish up at Burns Park. Big thanks to Burns Park, Tito's, Handmade Vodka, and all of our sponsors for helping us out today. Our guy, Trip Keeter. Trip, great job. Hand clap. Stick around. Drive Time Sports is next. Station and Care Center in Benton proudly offers compassionate and loving care to our veterans, meeting the unique needs of every veteran who calls Heartland home. Visit HeartlandRehabCenter.com. Hey, Razorback fans, it's Quinn Grovey. Check out the new location.